chocolate. Hey, we like. Well, I got it. It's pinned. You should be able to see it pinned at the top. Yeah. And uh, hello, everybody. We're live. Yep, I think I'm live now. I don't pay attention very well. Samson, John, Stonefly. Let's see what we got here. Good morning. Let me do the roll call real quick, and I'm headed out to the truck. Let's see. Coming in early this morning was Jody was in here. It looks like Catfish Fever Outdoor. Or Jody and Cindy. Good morning. They were in early, 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 early. Jay and Jay was in early. Good morning, all three of you guys. I'm getting ready to go to the VA. That's why it's not the same today. Uh, uh, let me see who else. Rustic was in early too. Gabe, okay, good morning. Well, yeah. to start a, a 15 minute early or 30 minute early sh sh secret show. Sampy was in early. Good morning, Sampy. What's up, brother? I'm just scrolling through. Hey, John, what's up, dude? How was how was the fishing yesterday? Were you on it? Stonefly, good morning, brother. How are you? And Jody. let's see. Jody. Huh? So that was Saint morning, Jody. Oh, okay. And that looks like that's about it. All right, guys. I'm gonna be heading out the truck. I'm headed to the doctor this morning. I'll actually turn the cam on when I get outside on the highway, but I ain't, well, I won't be able to make no changes or anything when I'm driving because I'm not that talented. <clears throat> I do got one Red Bull that I'm drinking. I'm going to take one with me to get me through. I think I may have to stop and get a pack of smokes or something. I don't know. I have to check to see if I got any money. It's just my shirt. I'll break it up or something. Jody said, hi, buggy and rooster. Who did? Oh, Jody. Good morning, Jody. It's oh, be, oh. Go ahead, buggy. It's going to be a weird show this morning, guys, because I got to go to the VA. And I figure, ooh, has it been raining a little bit? Looks like it. I what figure I'll just seven. Seven, your time. I, well, I got to go pee in a jar at seven anyway. So that would be what? Six, your time. Yeah, it guess. should be. Behind. I go into therapy. He's coming out of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm I'm usually out of there by 830 at the latest. And that's if I sit around and BS with them before I leave, you know. Yeah. yeah if I don't get through my I've workout. I've been going there for a long time. So they all were. They know me, and they're pretty cool sometimes. Yep. Yeah, sometimes I, I'm a bad boy, and they're not cool. Yeah, if I, if I get through my workout routine pretty quick, they usually let me go early, so. Yeah. Well, they they may grumble at me today because I'll probably piss dirty because I done. Yeah. I ate an edible the other day just because – it was I was just now needed yep. a break, and that's what it was. Hey, Stonefly, Stonefly, you know what day it is? Hey, Brandon, good morning. Okay, I think I'm back. Yep. At least 24 volts. Morning, Brandon. Morning, Brandon. Jody, I'm sending a box out this morning more than likely. Mm -hmm. Stone fly. You know what day it is? It's Wednesday. It means it's what? Home day, baby. You get in there or what? Hey, let me turn this on. See, this old one looks funky today. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, I think we got it. Yep. All we're missing now is Eric. <laughs> now I want to. Well, I'm going to do this. His alarm go off by an hour. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that, Jody. Let's see here. I want to. Every day, one day. 
Yeah, pretty much. No doubt. I got to dim my thing down for when I'm driving. There I'm like a chihuahua. I walk around like this. <laughs> yeah, I'm leaving early today so I don't wake nobody up in the house. Yeah. And I'm going to roll my one red bull up in a towel to keep it cold while I'm driving. Do the Humpty Dance. I don't know how to do the Humpty Dance, or I would. I don't either. I never watched them fellers back in the day. I'd... Oh, John said it's my birthday today. Well, happy birthday. To you. Happy hey, John, birthday. happy birthday, man. How's it feel to be 80? I'm sorry, 79. My bad. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I had you, dude. Like, happy oh, birthday, brother. So, birthday. Happy birthday, man. <laughs> I like when good people live another year. He said 79 is good. <laughs> <laughs> it's your birthday. It's your birthday. Come on, Joe. It's your birthday. Or it could be the Beatles song. You say it's your birthday. It's my birthday, too. Yeah. Da -na 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 -na. We're going to have a good time. That's right. Uh, a friend of mine is wasn't my best friend, but was close in high school. His birthday is the same day as mine, and uh, he would call me every year on my birthday and sing that. He was in a band and stuff, but we went to prom together. And he was he's good people. The guy had at eighteen years old, he had testicular cancer and lost one testicle. Went through chemo. Wow. Ended up contacting uh, cool. HIV from blood transfusions because it was 1981. They didn't start testing blood that was donated till 82. Yeah. Year later, he loses the other testicle to cancer. Ooh. And uh, he's HIV active. And this is in the 80s. And, and you young people have no idea what it was like back then if you were if you were HIV positive. Everyone assumed if you had HIV that you had AIDS. You know what I mean? It was just they did wasn't enough information out there about it and yeah, he's alive today days. yep he's still alive today man he uh he was an athlete a good athlete great basketball player and he uh started studying went to some alternative medicines like a mennonite that was you know uh told him go buy a juicer and I'm going to give you a list, and I want you to juice and consume these vegetables and fruits every single day. What up, still in you? And uh, he goes back to his regular doctor six months later, and his tea count's awesome. And his doctor wants to know what he's doing. And uh, it saved his life, actually. Like I said he's still alive today. And uh, you talk about it getting a uh, tough blow in life at the age of 18 and lose your freaking balls and then you can't have kids and uh imagine what his dating life was like you know what i mean it had to be tough he's a good yeah. guy that's my story for today and education hour is now officially over yeah i didn't know john was 59 i thought he was like in his like uh uh late 40s or something like that Hell, I thought he was 65 or so living down there, retired, 59, retired. You should be ashamed of yourself, John. Go back to work for five years. <laughs> he does go to work every day. He does like uh, I do for him. <laughs> I better get out of the driveway before the dog decides that they want to say hi before I leave. Wake yep. everybody up. Yep. Good morning, Double J. Morning, still in you. Nate's in yeah. the house. Good morning, Nate. I'm gonna be driving, so Rusty's gonna read chat and stuff for me. And uh, Eric, if you're gonna come up, let Rustic know in chat first, so I'll be able to. I'll be looking for it, and I can bring you up. If I'm if I'm moving down the road at the time, it may take a few because I just ain't that coordinated. Somebody's talking about me. My ears about to itch. Come off. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, he said, I retired at 53. 
I retired at 35. Are you kidding me, dude? I wish I would have had someone give me that kind of freaking financial advice when I was a young man. You know, my parents weren't very educated. Yeah, I'm, I'm 55. I had to retire at 35, not due to my self, somebody else's fault. And that sucked, man. That yeah. Was, now, you, no, are you allowed you. to make you. money? You're allowed to make what twenty two thousand dollars on the side. I uh, think it was, I researched it last like three or that. four months ago. Yeah. I know I when that. I retire, it says I can make twenty two thousand dollars. Not still me. Gets I'm only allowed to make seven fifty a month extra. How much? I think it's more than NJ uh, seven fifty a month extra. But that's been a few years since I checked it. Yeah, it might change, but hey, and Jay, good morning, morning buddy. I know morning. I uh, morning, Chris. M. I looked it up, I got my thing from Social Security a month or two ago, so I looked it up. Yeah, because I mean, crazy is not the hardest job a guy's ever done, you know what I mean? So I can yeah. do that until I'm probably 75 or so, but I can well, retire at 62 or 65, whichever I decide, and yeah. I can still work. Yeah, see, it sucked for me. I was thirty-five. I was making, I was bringing home almost five grand a month. Yeah, and, and then go to that. Yeah, I no was shit, dude. It down to like when I started out, it was like nine eighty on disability. That's like, good lord, Jesus Christ! I'd have to sell dope or something on the side just to get by. Well, I had we, I had a new truck. She had a new vehicle, a new car, a sports car, and we had to sell both of them. No shit. Yeah. Yeah, and what pisses me off about stuff like that is you worked your whole life up to that point, paid into the fucking system, and then they're going to throw you a pittance of money when the time comes when you need it. You know what I mean? It's just ridiculous, this country. Yep. You know, hey. they always say, well, we don't have the money. But yet you can send billions of freaking dollars everywhere else around the world, but take care of the people who gave you that billions of dollars. I get so mad about stuff like that, man. I can't read chat. Sorry, guys. I'm driving. Uh, Jody said, happy birthday, you rancid, gray haired, fish smelling, burden nesting, <laughs> banana packing, catfish for nothing, bass fishing, get people at PB that don't count old fart. <laughs> Jody, I love you. You're the best. <laughs> John said, he doesn't have to, Jody. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> I think I'll go this way today. I think there's a dead zone somewhere out here, but I don't remember where. We'll know when I hit it, I reckon. Let's turn that bent off. It looked cool. Said, what got me, Jody. <laughs> 54. Uh-oh. Said my favorite part was how a PB don't <laughs> That's a lot of info right there to take in. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jody. I missed that. I was listening to Bug Man. What just look at that chat on the big screen. I'm sorry. No worries. Right, we're officially doing 60 mile an hour in a 55, so I have been over the speed limit today. I'll save my speed limit driving for the interstate. <laughs> it's John's birthday. We're going to nail him on that all day. I'll think of some shit while I'm in the VA. When I come back, I'll have it. Nothing as good as what Jody just wrote, though. I think Eric's in the basement. He said, slow down. I got you, brother. Oh, and I'm slowing down, too. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there we go. Add the stage. Did that work? Yep, it's yep. up. He is right. up. Cool, cool, cool. Morning, Everybody's in the house. We can cruise. Chris Sam said, one more sub, Buggy. You will be at 450. Oh, really? Small I, have charter no, I had no idea how many subs I had. That's cool. And all my subs are built organically. I ain't, you know, 
done anything to get subbed or nothing. It just happens through time. If I made yeah. content, it would probably go faster, but I don't make a lot of content because I just ain't got time for that shit right now. I can cuss and stuff up till 6 o'clock, and then I'll... Do I need anything from the gas station? I don't know. Let's pull in here and think about it. Some Red Bull? <laughs> Yeah, well, he said he's taking one with him, so he's got at least two going there. <laughs> well, he'll need one for a couple for tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, he'll do that stop on the way home. Get oh, those. Okay. Exactly. See that? I'm running without no motor right now. Isn't that cool? I it. Even five years later, I still kind of giggle when it does that. Uh -huh. I need to make like more. Yeah, I might someday when it, when I get a chance. You know, it'd be real nice if they would get that stuff done, and I'd get paid for taking care of mom and them. It'd sure make it a little easier on me. Yep. Said I was kidding, Rusty. Kidding? What? I need to make more videos myself. <laughs> he was kidding. Why? You probably do need to make more videos. Mm -hmm. Well, shoot. I can't think if I need anything or not. Unless you, unless you mistake make and you meant to put take in there. <laughs> and then, then that would be kind of weird. That worst part about banana packing is the spiders. <laughs> Bikini spiders. Bikinis, bikini spiders. <laughs> I don't suppose there's much of that going around these days. Mm -hmm. Tropical mm -hmm. climates make you feel funny. <laughs> That's right. He does live down in tropical climate. Forest was said tropical climate. Tight pants mm -hmm. or banana picking mm -hmm. pack. <laughs> I don't know if I need anything or not. I need me some more coffee. I got this red bull that's halfway gone and that other one. And how many smokes do I have? I probably ought to get some smokes. <clears throat> I shall return. We'll see if I got any money. Well, buddy, I went yesterday. I picked up that car rental. Oh, yeah? They gave me a Toyota Camry. It's, it's a sports Toyota Camry. Yep, I was seeing them. And it's nice. But that thing's got a screen on the dash. It looks like a laptop. Big. It's big. Oh, I know. My son leases a new Honda. What's their high-end car? The Accord or something like that. And uh, yeah. I got in it one day and I'm like, how in the hell can you even drive this thing with all that stuff? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I wouldn't even begin to know what to do with all that shit. I don't want my car talking to me neither. Well, he told me, he said, uh, this car is in pristine condition. We walked, he said, uh, he's walking around looking at it and stuff. And he had, he's pointing stuff out. He said, yeah, there's a little nick there and a little scratch here. I said, yeah. And he goes, yeah. He said, because if it comes back to anything on it, he said, we have to charge you insurance for it. I said, oh, well, don't forget to take a picture of the ship in the windshield. Don't take, you, take, you got a little scratch here, a little dent there. Yeah, oh, yeah, you have to. Cause I would have got the insurance myself and just paid for it. That way, if I bring it back with the front end crunched, I don't care. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Anytime I've had a rental, I've got that insurance stuff. Just oh, so it, uh, in case something happens. Yep. Yeah. That used to 
used to be a big thing to pro motocross racers, uh, whatever airports they'd fly into or whatever, the factories would get them a rental car to drive out to wherever the tracks were. And uh, don't fly at that morning, Eric. It was a standing rule or standing procedure that they all had to get at least airborne on the way to the track. <laughs> and they uh, would trash okay. the rental cars, man. Well, and I they would put it the and, uh, But I get it back as soon as the cars turn back in, they're going to refund my deposit back. Yep. Yeah. Hey, yep. I got the hey, what's up, Chris and Telly? Said Chris four and more good morning. All right, I got going here. I'll be back. One more day for what, Chris? Probably going on another vacation. Another yeah, vacation. Probably going down back down to Tennessee. Or no, they're supposed to go to Alabama. That's right. They're supposed to go fish with Creo. Creo's guy serves. Creo taking y'all out. He said, we leave for Louisiana. Yep. They're going to fish with Creo. That's where they're going. Yeah, that's that trip Chad's upset about. He didn't get invited to. Who? Oh, Chad? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah they're, they're scared uh, Chad might get hurt down there because he, he couldn't be able to outrun a gator. <laughs> Man, it's not the point you got to outrun the gator. You just got to outrun the person next to you. True, that's true. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, Chris. Tell him going off leave you. <laughs> All right, he said dogs need to go out and be right back. Good morning, just Jeff. It looks like it's raining again. Where Eric's at. Good Lord. Yeah, it's sprinkling. Had too much rain already this month. Yeah, I agree with you, Nate. That will be a drive for Chris and him to go across there. Yeah, I am proud. Probably a good 13 hour drive. Uh, Chris Simpson, Eric is always wet. Uh, Scott Walker said, good morning, everyone. I'm stuck in the basement. I don't see where you chatted down there. Buggy be all right. He said he'd give me the power, but I ain't got no power. <laughs> I still got to give Curtis the power to do that. Yeah, he did. He did email me the thing, so I couldn't accept. So. I get no power. I'm just a moderator. <laughs> More like moist. <laughs> Buggy be right back. He just run into the station. Hey, yeah. while you down there, uh, uh, if you don't mind, you do a little sweeping down there and pick up some of them uh, uh, ducks. Yeah. <laughs> Some of them strawberry Swiss roll wrappers. No, I said more like moist. <laughs> Here he comes. He got something on. He's showing. Probably on the water. Rocking the muddy water. Oh. Uh, Gabe said he was in the basement. Hold on, brother. <sighs> I got you, boss. <laughs> All right. What's up, man? Yeah, morning, Gabe. Yeah, the only way I can pull them up is if if, uh, if you sent me the email and I accepted it for the day. But uh, <laughs> what we got on the belt? What's going on, boys? You're looking at now. There's a guy out there that calls himself the final boss. Okay. If you watch WWE, you know what I'm talking about. The final boss. <laughs> yeah, I'm the I'm the boss. When I walk <laughs> down to the marina from this block to that block, and I'm wearing this world championship belt, 
every woman <laughs> on that yacht, on that yacht, on that boat, from that boat, from that block to that block, they all say, here comes the boss. And I look <laughs> around, guys, and Bruce Springsteen and Tony Danza ain't nowhere to be found. <laughs> So WWE is that the wom the women's uh, wrestling federation? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I took it. I took it off of uh, Becky Lynch after uh, you know. <laughs> John said, "Looks like oh, Connor." Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is my uh, fantasy football belt. I won from the fantasy football league. So I that's it. cool. Yeah. Exactly. How you doing, brother? How you doing? I'm doing all right. I uh, I just wanted to say, uh, spend a shout out to uh, old Hoggy and Melissa. They lost uh, old Ace today. Oh, did they? Are you kidding me? Oh yeah, man, they, they lost old Ace. So I wanted to say a prayer for them and just uh, let them know we're thinking about them and we love them. Yeah, I see. I don't have no way of getting a hold of them or nothing. That's horrible. I know how she feels. I had to put my little guy down after 18 years and fucking killed me. Yeah. Yeah. Because they are definitely, they're definitely almost like children, man. No, they yeah. are. Absolutely. Hey, that, that's a skinny <laughs> John saying, I was expecting him to say, the champ is here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a wrestling guy, so I don't know a whole lot. About that stuff, being on sleep. I used to be a kid. I used to laugh at grandpa. He was so into that stuff, man. I'd go down and stay with him for a week in the summer. And he'd be like, Bob, y'all don't go wrestling tonight. Go watch wrestling. All right, Pop, we'll go. <laughs> man, I, hey, I used Bob. to be watching that, and uh, I knew it was a lot of it was orchestrated, and uh, all the gymnastic yeah. stuff's real. I was sitting there oh, watching well, big fan face Golda. There's and Golda no jumped up. Hits him in the head people. with a hammer, ball peen hammer. I jumped yeah. up out of my chair. Yeah. There's no doubt they're 100% athletes, and their bodies are usually trashed by the time they get done. Oh, yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? I and it's it. like Vince McMahon and them chew them up and spit them out. I may not be a wrestling fan, Buggy. I, I grew up on that. One of the kids were watching Saturday morning cartoons. I was watching. I was watching Hulk Hogan. Well, we had we had wrestling on here. Come on on Saturdays with Dick the Bruiser, and I don't know if they were just reaching or what. Pepper Gomez, the man with the iron stomach, and the Sheik, and you know, yep. we all Sheik. watched it when I was a kid. Well, the thing about wrestling, it's 20, it's all year round. They don't get a vacation, you know, like basketball or football. I just like now that, that Triple H has taken over. It's, it's better story storytelling now. I like the storytelling. It's a soap opera for, for, for yeah. guys. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's yeah. all it is. Because I'm, I'm yeah. a huge UFC fan, and it don't, it don't get no but, more. You know, anyone who says that the wrestling is fake or, or fools because them guys – like I said, they trash their bodies. The the outcomes and stuff are all for entertainment purposes, but the actual wrestling itself is 100% real. You can't fake jumping off the top of a cage onto a table on cement underneath it. Hey, you, you, ain't try taking, Buggy, you try taking 10 back body drops. Oh yeah, no way. Back in the day. No way. I don't. I don't walk for a month if I ever exactly. walk again. You know. <laughs> well, it's like going up at WrestleMania. Curtis sent me that deal where Randy Orton uh, RKO'd that dude, whoever he was, on that table. The table yeah. didn't even break. And did you see that dude bounce? Boom! Off that guy on that table. I was like, oh, you know that hurt. They had, I uh, actually thought they got to the point that I was afraid someone was going to get crippled or killed. That did happen, <laughs> Owen Hart. That, that yeah, ricochet that, guy, he yeah. jumped off the table and he, the table broke, but the, the one piece of the table that stands the table up went right to his stomach, and you could see he was hurt. It was, it really, it really yeah. hurt him. Oh, yeah, hurt. more than 
Or yeah, uh, Hart died in the ring. Yeah, yeah, the 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 them, you know, wrestling stuff like that because I used to have to go to the head end for the pay-per-views and make sure it switched, so I'd have to sit there and watch them. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, it, it's the punches and stuff like that. But if I had to do that, it was actually open to everyone. If they knew it, they would have been able to see it. It only happened one time. And I had to, you actually you hit a switch and it went from scramble to clear. And it was on everyone's cable at that time. Yeah. yeah. I watched we didn't uh, let them know that. I watched uh, Japan. I was watching their organization, and this one dude was in there running his mouth. He didn't follow the rules, I don't guess, because that one Japanese wrestler when the bell rung, he was on him so bad throwing punches into his face, had him on the huh. mat, pounding him, and other wrestlers running there and pulled him off. And when the camera showed, that dude was bloodied up, face, nose, yeah. mouth busted. They must and, have had uh, a real life beef going on out inside the locker or something, maybe. It's either that or because Japan wrestling, it's called strong style over there, which yeah. means they really hit each other. Yeah, well, yeah, they're, 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 yeah. They're it wasn't that. Were brutal. Well, it wasn't that. The guy that was over there, he was the top dog in Japan wrestling. And this guy that come over there, uh, you know, they had them big major long tournaments over there. And yeah. And he was supposed to have fought the guy and then lost the match. Well, he did. He turned around and pinned the guy, and uh, he wasn't supposed to. Have. And so the main man that was in that tournament, he had to go up against him for that. They give out big trophies over, there. and and when he went up against him, all oh, it was like thirty seconds in the match. He had it down and beaten the crap out of him because he didn't follow the rules. Mark I see that, that to uh, Randy Orton that one time. I too. guess that's kind of an educational thing, right there. You know, that's, yeah. that's Japan. That's common over there. It's called strong style. Like um, sometimes they'll really fight. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm a huge MMA fan. I love UFC. It don't get more real than that. Yep. Yeah. But um, yeah, Owen Hart died in the more, ring live. Yeah, that was on a Monday Night you, Raw that he died. Yeah. Yeah, Owen Hart died. But if UFC took WWE's model and had like ring entrances and all that stuff with the Titan Trons and did stadiums yeah. like it would make so much more money. I don't do not know why they don't do that. It's it's insane to me because they didn't want to make it like showy to where everybody said, "Well, that's put on stuff." They already know who's going to win, and so they want them guys to come out to music, but they want them to. Everybody know that this is some serious stuff. Oh, they already do. I just think, and then that, and then they got to have some type of it, like, you know, Conor McGregor. The E stands for entertainment. Well, you know, yep. they got to have they got to have some characters too in UFC. Like Conor McGregor is a character, right? He built the name for himself. A couple others, but the rest, you know, there's no <laughs> gimmicks or nothing. Like they got to like, you know, build their brand and yeah. I, I, Put me, put me in charge of the lot, UFC. We'll make a lot more money. I've got to do it on their own as far as that brand goes. Yeah. In UFC. And wrestling. Yeah. WWE, it's too. you got to make up your that. own stuff. I watched that thing on Bray Wyatt. Um, they did a uh, thing on him. He died. But uh, he had to come up with his own gimmick and all that stuff. Yeah, I was yeah. watching that night when Owen Hart died. I seen his head come off a turnbuckle. Bam. Broke his neck when it fell down. He come down all of a sudden. He said, "Whoop!" And you see his head hit. Were you there, Rustic, when it happened? No, I was watching it live. Did oh. Jerry Long was the first one in the ring? What would happen? Because when I was watching, it was in freaking commercial, and then they cut back, and then they're like, "This isn't part of the script." Blah blah blah. But Owen Hart's in serious condition right now. Um. Yeah, but Nobody when they were doing it, video. Hmm? When it was live. And when he was doing it, you seen him fall and he hit his neck, broke back, and Jared Lawler went scooping up into the ring. And uh and then yeah, they went to commercial, then they came back and there was a bunch of people in the ring. Yeah. Yeah, he uh he's he broke his neck and Damn. I mean he, he wasn't dead on impact, but I don't think he was there. I mean he was breathing a little bit, but I think he was gone. 
Chris said, Dad, bless the dogs. <laughs> get in here. Yeah. Go potty. Get in as here. poor as it is to say, if I broke my neck and was going to be a quad, I would rather I die. You know what I mean? Yeah, if you're going to break your neck and end up a quadriplegic where you're laying in a bed sucking your food through a straw and shit, I would rather be dead. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, y'all right, need right. to go back and watch that documentary on on, on Hart Hill. He actually died. At first he did, but he did die in that ring. Yeah. He had they a just didn't stuff, that he but... died in that ring. They like uh yeah. Gabe said, they said that he was in critical condition. He's been rushed to the hospital. Yeah, he didn't make it to the hospital. He died and he died before he got there. Yeah, um, and Owen Hart, he, uh, when he had him down as the blue meanie or whatever, doing all this, Owen Hart was totally against coming down on that cable. He did not want to do it. Didn't want to do it. I just and don't know how he made really? it like that, man. The yeah. guy the guy who, who did it, you know, who rigged it for him, man. I, got, I don't know how you make a mistake like that. That's. I lost I my know. job sucking Mexican Bam Bam through a straw. Damn! That's some suction right there. I wonder what John's wrestling name would have been, guys. What do you guys think? <laughs> Who knows? John's going there with that hair, that blonde hair. I don't know, man. If, if none of you haven't seen his video, oh, I don't know what the title of it is, but go to his channel and look for it. The one about the wrestling promo thing. It's hilarious. Yeah, I love doing wrestling. We were doing wrestling, that guy wrestling, wrestling in high school wrestling. What's that? What's that, Buggy? He froze up for a second. Oh, I said, yeah, we used to cut promos in, in high school wrestling because we had those camcorders back then. Yeah. And then uh, we hit each other with chairs in the back, and it was, it was hilarious. Dude. It was We were before our time. Yeah. Exactly. I knew there was a dead zone up here somewhere. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. I was talking all that. I don't. I, I don't knew there was a dead zone, zone up here you, somewhere. But... I think I just went through. There may be one more on the interstate. I can't remember. I haven't been this way in a long time. There we go. Everybody's okay. back, Jack. I don't care what what John yeah, says the... about you, buggy. You're all right. Yeah, I don't sleep enough. That's the problem. I'm I'm a good guy when I'm asleep. I just don't sleep enough. <laughs> yeah, Uncle Lou, uh, Bug Band's got to go to VA. He'll be there for a while. By the time he gets out, I'll be going into therapy. And so if you want to uh, make sure if you want to come up, come up, uh, just don't get hit that link and throw it over to J-Dog if he wants to come up. Up, yeah, Lou. I go in the PA. I'm usually I'm usually out of there by eight or a little after eight. I think I don't know. Is that, yeah, is that how long it takes to do a, how, Is that how long it takes to do a sex change operation these days? Well, no, I have to check do. up to make sure that I'm stretching. <laughs> It's Thursday, no therapy. If you ain't uh, it won't work. No, it, it's it's hump day. Hump day. I got therapy hump on hump day. Go, 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 go. What day is it? What day is it? It's hump day, baby. Not for me. I, every day pretty much doesn't matter. Oh, there's a link. Okay. I'll have to go back and get that link, John. Yeah. I love doing <laughs> WWE promos, dude. I'll probably head. lose you up here somewhere at some time. Now the average yeah, person would today. jump over and go around this guy and speed up real fast, but why? I'm in no hurry. That's why yeah, I came today, early. Uh, Uncle, I got my therapy sheet right here. I'm looking at it. I'm making sure today is not Thursday. <laughs> I went to a therapist one time, and they said, you're a lost cause. There ain't no help in you, son. I said, all right, and I walked out. <laughs> That's all I need yeah, to know. I'm going to therapy. 
Uh, you went to well, see a therapist. <laughs> Well, you testified to that in court when I end up being charged as a serial killer that I tried to get help, and you said there wasn't none. <laughs> Red Bull, it's what's for breakfast. Well, you, need, you need to get a wife to go out there and do that stuff for you, man. My wife makes sure my fridge is stocked full of Rockstar. She don't let me go without, man. Dude, I'm freaking everything in my house. House cleaner, grocery buyer, food cooker, you name it, I do it all, man. Yeah, I'm going to order you one of them Russian Russian brides or something, man. Yeah, I probably should. But when they found out I didn't have no money, they'd probably go back or else <laughs> find somebody. <laughs> you sure it was the no money? I thought everybody in America was rich. What's up, Alex? You're so rich. I think I'd have to get me a, an Asian bride myself. Serial killer. John said oh, he was a serial money, killer. Though. Yeah, he killed Tony, Lucky Charms, and the Silly Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do any of y'all know what Project Veritas is? It doesn't exist anymore, but... Uh, James O'Keefe started it. It's a it was a yeah, investigative journalist, okay? The yeah, way he nice. got his start originally, yeah. when he was in college for a joke, he went to the administration and because he was Irish, he said, I really think that we need to remove the lucky charms from the cafeteria because they're degrading to the Irish people. And they done it. They did do it? Yeah, they did. Oh my God. He laughed. He, he was trolling them too, I bet. Sure he was. It was all for fun to see if they yeah. would actually do it. I'm and surprised they did. Andrew Breitbart happened to hear the story, and then he ended up doing this undercover thing for, I can't remember the name, of this huge corporation had a huge contract with the government. And they were uh, something to do with taxes or whatever. Well, he goes in there dressed like a pimp from the 70s if you know what I'm talking about. Felt hat, feather, the whole works. It brings this young chick with him, dressed like a whore. And he's asking the lady about uh, how she should file her taxes and what she should claim because she was a minor but yet she was making money or something. But instead of Telling him to, to leave or whatever or calling the police for illegal. The lady was giving him advice on how to do it. How to claim a minor prostitute on taxes. And the video ended up uh, going viral for what it was, for what viral was at the time. But it ended up costing this company their contract with the government. And I'm talking probably a billion dollar contract. And that's when Andrew Breitbart took him under his wing. Yeah, he's a he's the best journalist right now. That I'm we, telling that you right now, had Andrew Breitbart not died, this country would be different today. I promise you, it would be. Hey, what's your opinion on New York? You know, with all the the BS they're pulling, so the Statue of Liberty gets struck by lightning. I don't know if y'all saw that. Yep, I did. And then the earthquakes. You that's tell God me. telling them they need to straighten up. Exactly. I yeah. think that's the that's the Lord telling them y'all better stop. Yep. Maybe it's uh, the, the Lord best one, you don't send the four, you guys some more foreigners here. <laughs> have any of you heard about this mayor in Dalton, Illinois? No. Nah. If you haven't, YouTube Dalton, Illinois council meeting or whatever, they got this mayor there that's running this small town like the mafia. And the city council's trying to get rid of her, and they can't. And now the FBI's investigating her for uh, ghost employment and embezzlement, all kinds of stuff. But this lady will not step down under any circumstances. And she goes off in these council meetings. It's hilarious. Dalton, Illinois, you're going to hear about it in the news eventually, I'm sure. But if, if you haven't seen, it's worth watching the meetings because its citizens get up and just dog this mayor and she goes right back at him. I mean, it's hilarious. I'll have to check so that out. This, this young guy who does kind of investigative journalist stuff goes there to do a story about it. 
and he got all on film, the chief of police and three or four of his goons surround the guy and let him know that it's probably a good idea if he left Dalton, Illinois and didn't come back. He got it all on video, live. Wow. wow. Yeah, it's like I said, you're going to hear about it in the news before long. It's getting close to where it'll be national news. I don't know, John, this isn't a white beater. This is just a tank top. I got a white beater <laughs> under this. It was 85 degrees here today. It's going to be 90 tomorrow. And then it's going to go no back way. to 50 degrees this weekend and rain. <laughs> 85 or 90, it's time to move north, man. Hell, I love the heat, bro. But, the, but this weekend, it's going to be it cold and be. rainy again. So. Yep. I, oh, that's a good road right there. I liked it when I was young. I don't like it now. I'm fat and old. I and, love the and heat. And sweaty. Right? And sweaty. Don't forget and sweaty. Oh, I sweat so bad. And I've been that way even when I wasn't fat. I don't know what that's about. I've always sweated a lot. Yep, that's why the mosquitoes like so much. I wonder what percentage of my urinalysis comes back Red Bull. <laughs> they're probably right. like, I they're just up to the this rock urine rock. type. We just don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah they're they come rock. back extremely high caffeine, extremely high sugar. Yep, that's me. John, you got to get with the times, brother. It's not the 90s What's anymore, that? man. We ain't, we ain't wearing baggy jeans, bro. No, I'm a cargo shorts guy in t-shirts. 80s here this weekend. Northerners, oh, One I'm cold. It starts averaging 40 degrees and above. I'm cargo shorts. I don't care. That's not going to lose. That's crazy there. It gets 80 degrees there, and then it gets, what, minus 10 in the winter? Where's that? Where Uncle Lou's at? Yeah. He, he was about that last week. <laughs> yeah. But we? he will Double tell days. you, if you ever come to Iowa, you'll never leave. Can I ask him, why are you going to put me in a hole in your basement or something? <laughs> oh, no, these aren't, these aren't skinny jeans, John. They're just tight on me, man. My wife got what me happens when you hit the gym and you got tree trunks as legs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, my wife got me skinny jeans Christmas one time. I said, are you freaking kidding me? I can't even get oh my, my calf God. in that. <laughs> do they make those anymore? People don't wear skinny jeans. Are you kidding me? These aren't skinny jeans. No, I'm you talking really? about me. <laughs> he is skinny. <laughs> Hell, mine become skinny jeans after so long. Yeah, I'm just a I'm just a skinny guy. I'm just a lean guy. Nothing yep. wrong with that, brother. I don't wear baggy like baggy baggy pants because it's not the '90s no more, man. That's okay. Hey, they're they're uh they're actually giving you some compliments. Uh, Uncle Lou told me it looked like I had to give my shirt back to the midget. <laughs> <laughs> Not in those words, but it goes to it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. John, I haven't heard that saying in a long time. John, I don't know. I, I wasn't looking. <laughs> yeah. John was looking. Celebrate too fast. What's wrong with them people merging at the same time? Chris I'll said, be coming in the valley up here, I think, and I'll lose signal for a little bit. Chris said, can't leave Iowa because you're either... Frozen to the ground or melted to it. No way between. <laughs> Morning, Joy. Uh, Joy, oh, Joy said, we need to see the back view again, Gable. <laughs> Are you here, <laughs> When I go to Bluetooth and, and connect to this Bluetooth speaker in my car, it doesn't work with StreamYard for some reason. I hope it'll start echoing real bad. You gotta have a good yeah. internet connection for StreamYard, dude. Yeah, Chris Sam said I remember wearing those. Took me ten minutes to get the change out of my pocket for the bus. <laughs> <laughs> he's right. Yeah, he's right. Weren't the, they the, flexible the, the, the though? Half down just so you can hand the pocket. <laughs> weren't skinny jeans like stretchy material though? I don't know. Maybe for girls. Spanx. That's what girls wear. They wear spanks. I think the girls' jeans are stretchy. Yeah, I know. That's the only reason I know that 
Some girls get worse. So. They were stretching. You know what I mean? Some girls that's shouldn't what, wear Sphinx. That's what I need. Stretchy jeans. Some girls just need to be spanked. John, John knows yes. what they want to get spanked. Some of them will pay you to spanked. <laughs> Spanx. <laughs> John knows what they are, don't he? <laughs> that's just funny. I've, I've always wondered why they call them Spanx. Like, couldn't they come up with a better name for those things? The guy who invented the yoga pants, stretchy pants, or whatever, he should have his face on Mount Rushmore. Dude, you, you you telling me that? I love the yoga pants on on women, and then I loved back in the Britney Spears era when they were wearing those low rider jeans. You know what I'm talking about? Where they showed their hips. Yep. Oh Thank my you. goodness! The, now, they're, now they're wearing mom jeans and these ugly jeans. No, they got to go back to yoga pants and those low rider hip jeans. I want to see because I love hips. That's my thing on women. I love hips. Some guys are boob Back guys. Back in my day, a country guys. girl on a pair of Levi's was about as hot as it got until summer, and she made them Levi's into shorts, and it got better. There you go. No <laughs> country, though. Yeah, girls, y'all need to bring back them them uh, hip uh, What were they called? The, the hip hugger? I don't know what they were called. Yeah, they were hip huggers. Yeah. Hip hugger jeans, yeah. Hell yeah. And if you do that, John will wear Spanx and some and some chaps. What time is it? It's uh three oh five. It's my bedtime, Buggy. Five oh five, six oh five where you're at, Buggy. Four my time. This is, I'm talking what time is it? God's time, not you yes, people live in Six oh five. Five oh five. Yep. 6.05. I run on God's time. <laughs> What's up, Shorty? You want to say hi? I'm getting where I don't mind getting up early in the morning, really. I get a whole lot more done. Sometimes, Chris, sometimes spandex on a woman looks good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, there should be a limit, size limit on wearing those. And it's kind of like back in my day, high school in the 20s be like a coming up behind it be like a nice camaro or something you see this big blonde hair hanging out then you drive around and it's not very clear i better not say yeah my wife's got to say just because it look just because it comes to your size doesn't make less good on you <laughs> hey buggy how many how many pairs of parachute pants did you own back in the 80s man oh shoot man dude i don't know about six or seven no. probably we were poor, so I had to get them a discount, but I, I made them work. It was kind of funny. In the skating rink days, there was the bibbed overhaul phase. Then there was the painter pants phase. Then there was the parachute pants phase. We were kind of confused. <laughs> uh, that was All lips and hips. <laughs> Yep. All right, y'all. I'm gonna head to bed. I had to hop on here and say uh, uh, hello to all y'all, and uh, and just give you give you a heads up about Hoggy and Melissa. All right, Gabe. And, have a good day, buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how to get a hold of him. I think I got his email. I'll send him an email. He yeah, said he had my something. phone number, but I don't remember having his. So. Yeah, Melissa texted me, so I'm sure he's devastated. So. I oh, 100. Yeah. yeah. Um, they yeah. both are. So. I'm gonna send a prayer. Yeah, that's my horrible, card. man. You know, yeah. even even when you know it's coming, it still doesn't help. You know, what I mean, you know it's gonna yeah. happen soon, but it doesn't make it any easier. No, yeah, doesn't. but ladies, at least did not suffer no more. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But I'm gonna pray for them. But I had to, I had to come on and give you guys that. I, I don't know if you guys heard, and I had to say yeah, hi no, to I y'all because I known, love y'all so, so I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Take care, Gabe. Thanks for letting us know. All right, y'all. I'll see you. I'll see you tomorrow night. All right, brother. All right, take care. This is deer hitting country right through here. I I'd say at least three times in the last couple years I've had a deer jump out in front of me. Usually right down in this valley right here.
Hey, you got a black speck flopping around on the screen there. <laughs> what is that? I have no idea. I don't know. Let's see. Is it on there or is it on my windshield? No, it's on the camera. No, I think it's on the windshield, ain't it? Oh, I don't know. I can't mess with that shit. I'm driving. No, it ain't on the windshield. It's on the camera buggy. <laughs> it's moving when the camera does. I don't know how it could be. I just wiped the can. I don't, oh shit! There's a car behind me. He's going around. He's flying too. Go on there. You hit that deer for me, buddy. I ain't in no hurry. That's why I turned on the country road. You dumbass. Chris yeah. Sam said that that's a deer spotter. <laughs> so whatever it is, it's it's out running. He was standing in front of him. <laughs> What is it? Hammer pants let the boys bounce around. Yep. You talking about like jeans with the hammer pocket and stuff on the side? That's all I wear. Carpenter jeans, I guess they're called. Yeah, that dude was racing by. He gone. You don't even see his tail lights. <laughs> oh, hell, he was flying. I looked up and there he was. I'm usually like halfway straddling on the lane over here. You know what I mean? I could have been an asshole and just kind of started to, to scoot over that way a little bit and see what he'd have done. Yeah, I'll be right back, buddy. You know, if you got to drive that fast to get to work, maybe you ought to leave a little earlier like I do. Well, this is a dark-ass country road right here. But that's why I leave early. I can't get through the gate till 6.30. And I used to have it timed out when I left the old house that I'd get there right at 6.30. But now I'm going to have to... I'll try first to get through. Because if you work there as a contractor and you come up to the gate, they just ask you, going to work this morning? Yep, okay. So I kind of spread the truth when I go through sometimes. But the reason I want to get there at 6.30, because the lab opens at 7. So I like to get there and get my number to go in the lab. And I like to have the first number so I ain't got to sit there and wait on everybody else going there and get blood and shit. Because all I'm going to do is pee in the cup for them. And I don't like driving that fast anyway. Used to be if you go straight right here to the next highway up there and turn right about a quarter of a mile, there was a big Harley dealership there. But I think it closed. But they used to have a heller party in the summertime. But the only car that the plates are good on right now, so I can't afford to wreck it. Even though running 30 mile an hour probably wouldn't dent it too bad. I'm heading to Marion, Indiana. It has the coolest little VA hospital place here that I'm surprised they haven't shut it down because it's so small, but it is perfect. But you get pretty good one on one interaction with your doctor here because it's not that big, so they're not in a hurry. 
Hey, morning, Mark. How are you, buddy? I think it's supposed to rain today. Or it's a 65% chance, I think it said, the rain. Which figures because I scheduled that house inspection today at 2. And it's probably going to be raining, which means I'm going to measure a house out in the rain. But for the last, oh, 21 years or so, I have never seen a house earlier than 1 p.m. in the afternoon. That way I don't have to get up early. <laughs> Well, I gotta wash my sheets. It's really good in the summer time. I have to now work. You know, to take the outside pictures. So I tell them, I don't care. Heck, in, in the summertime, like I don't care if it's eight o'clock. I'll come over as long as it's not eight a.m. All right. Hey, good morning, Donald. Hey, Don. Three nights. How are you, bud? You go by Donald or Don? If I've been calling you Don and you prefer Donald, I do apologize. Just let me know. Morning, Steve Mosley. I did some birds chirping yesterday morning, I think it was, wasn't it? They were so loud, it wasn't even daylight yet. Yeah, it was dark at your place, and the birds was loud. I thought I seen a big, nasty piece of roadkill <laughs> right there. Yeah, it's weird. Hey, it's Tom Crabby. Good morning. He come out and sit on the back porch yesterday for a little bit. Morning, Catfish Crappy. How's Mark doing this morning? I was thinking about getting me some chickens, actually. But uh, he's I'm going. Uh, so sure, butters wouldn't kill him. Mr. Mosley, he's going to the VA hospital. Man, Butters was so hilarious yesterday afternoon. I had a wheelbarrow and I was, went out and picked up some sticks and stuff that fell from the storm and was wheeling them out to the burn pile. When I started wheeling the wheelbarrow back towards the garage, he came out and he ran over and he was running circles around me to want to play. And he kept he to go out, come back and get as close to me as he could without hitting me. And he Buggy was hilarious. And feed them Red Bull. <laughs> you need chickens and you need to feed them Red Bull. Yeah. Jody's but he got mad at, at me because I wouldn't play with him. And he ran by and smacked my leg with his paw on the way by. So then I acted like I was going to chase him a little bit and he was in heaven. Because yeah. I don't Last think people are having to play with him. Last five years, our uh, river has blowed its banks so many times that the coyotes run off and they spread across this huge area down through here. And they have oh, literally yeah. wiped out the quail and the pheasants. That, and there's no place for quails and pheasants to actually nest on the ground. So the oh, skunks yeah. cross them, and the raccoons find their nest and eat the eggs. Oh. I think I've seen two pheasants here in the last 20 years. No kidding. Well, around my house where I grew up, the old house, it was kind of out in the country when I was a kid. You know, we didn't have street lights or nothing, It was, but it was still considered the city. And, you know, they there were, were cornfields on three sides of the neighborhood and a creek and yeah. stuff like that. 
and you know there'd be milkweeds and monarch butterflies and everything and after all the pesticides and stuff in the last 30 years i haven't seen a monarch butterfly i don't know how long I haven't seen no milkweed or nothing yeah i've only seen just a few we used to have a bunch up here in town on certain trees but now you don't see them mark said weather's going to be 65 here today again but no, I have to keep working on this car. I'm starting to feel like hog legging this truck. <laughs> <laughs> Between car, truck repairs, and doctor crap, I have no time to fish at all. When my girlfriend's daughters were in high school, one graduated, was going to college, but I had to keep their cars running for them. They both had Sebring convertibles. And I don't know who designs Chrysler stuff, but it ain't for us to work on, I can tell you that. I saw a pheasant rooster along the road the other day. He must have escaped one of those paid to hunt places. We don't have pheasants. Milkweed is that for the underage smokers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All, All right, right. Don. See you later, man. Have a good day working. What am I talking about? I'm working today. John said I was weaned off milkweed years ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, milkweed. We that a, was what the hippies used to smoke. Or give their have, babies. Well, my neighbor had this one tree just on the other side of my privacy fence. And it had this strange, sweet smell to it. And every year, that thing was covered in monarch butterflies. I mean probably thousands of them on that tree and you can go through there and mow and they would jump up fly all the way around to get done mowing they go right back to it well that tree died somehow and now you don't see a monarch butterfly anywhere hardly every once in a while you'll see yeah. one from across like you said uh that insecticides they're spraying and stuff is about to kill them off you used to you used to see caterpillars crossing the road all the time when they start harvesting or spraying yeah and you don't see too many of those i mean you still see them but not as thick as they used to be yeah i didn't even really notice till dad pointed it out when i moved back to noblesville but there's i mean it's unbelievable the creatures that don't exist no more that were around there when i was a kid yeah where are you headed, Buggy? To the PA. Yeah, I got a doctor's appointment. I won't be long. I'll be in there about an hour. I get this really horrible shot in my belly that hurts really, really, really bad. Yeah, he needs to change his thumbnail. <laughs> he says he gets the fish. Everybody's confused. <laughs> I didn't, you know, but I don't know how it says. I don't know how to do all that shit, man. I, and I didn't see it till I started it. And I'm like, what the hell does that say? And so, yeah, I don't have to change that. <laughs> so it's just, it is what it is. Yeah, thank you, Mark. This V over here is actually really good, dude. <laughs> it has, Chris, no doubt. It said that for since at least last week. I, I don't know how to change it. Yeah, Mark, it ain't the needle. It's, it's this stuff. Everybody, I think by now, pretty much everybody knows I'm a recovering opioid addict. And because there are so many opioids in my house on any given day from oxys to dilated to morphine that uh, I get this shot in my belly once a month. And it's, it's like suboxone sort of, but it's a different chemical, but it takes away the craving and desire for that stuff. And if you do do it, you get no effect from it. And this stuff they squirt, squirt in there is about as thick as Lucas oil engine treatment. If anyone's ever poured that in, you know what I'm talking about. He said, and stay then, strong, buddy. Yeah, I, I, I'm good, brother. And, uh, it burns so bad for about 15 seconds. I mean, it burns bad enough that you literally grip your fist tight.
So about two days before I go, I start dreading going. You know what I mean? It's it's all like, oh man, I gotta go get that damn shot. But if you have anyone that's an opioid addict who wants to quit, I highly suggest it. Because I said literally distribute opioids and liquid morphine to my dad three times or four times a day and have no desire to even touch them. And that is amazing in and of itself. Yeah. Any fan said I'm watching on the big screen, so not chatting. All right. said, okay. cool, fan. I'm not even going to make a joke about taking a shot to the belly. Yeah, dude, it's I'm telling you, I've had I all kinds of shots in my life and this one sucks. Mark said, when I was giving my wife fertility shots, that stuff was thick as oil. I know what you're mean. Yeah, man, it burns so bad. But I'm telling you, you know, it's like Suboxone. Suboxone works. It saved my life if you want it to work. There's a way to cheat and abuse almost anything when it comes to drugs, except this shot. There's no way to cheat it. But if you are, if you have an opioid problem or someone you love has an opioid problem, I'm living proof. If you use the shit as it's designed, you can get your life back. You can't replace the brain damage that's happened from them, but you can get your life back. John said, y'all making it tough on me, not making a joke. Just saying. I know. I know. Thank you. I don't care if you joke. I'll joke about it, brother. I'm good. I mean... I just tried to pass that information along because Suboxone existed when my brother died. He was an opioid addict and he didn't really want to be an opioid addict. And had I known about Suboxone, then my brother would be alive today. 100%, no doubt in my mind. So I try to make everyone I know aware of the things that are out there. If you're the one that struggles or someone you love struggles. There's there are things out there that can help you because quitting cold turkey is tough, man. If anyone's been there, they know what I mean. It's it's not an easy road to ride down. And I was done with the suboxone until I had to come back and uh, I quit for I tapered off of it. it. Took me about six months to taper off of it, and then I was good for about. Eight or nine months, I'd say, and then it, being an opioid addict, it happened again. So then that's when we, the lady told me about the shot thing. Yeah, Uncle Lou said, I considered it a healthy shot. That coming off ep- opioids is no joke now. It's not, man. It's, I'm telling you, it's a ride you don't want to take. I've took it a bunch of times. Sometimes planned and sometimes because I didn't have any. Good morning, quiet man. Curtis, he said, good morning, buggy and everything. Curtis, what's up, my my friend, friend, friend? Did I bring my piss today? Okay, there. Yeah, that'll work. Because where I'm sitting is not the best place on earth to be sitting with your motor running in the dark. Oh, it was Eric backing that truck up. I know I I hope it doesn't. I'm hoping I can get a window of not raining while I go and measure the house. After that, I don't care if it rains the rest of the day. Yeah. Fortunately, it's a small house. It's not some 5,000 square foot, two-story monstrosity. Feel better? Yep. Let's go to the VA. I can't imagine giving up hope. I can imagine giving up opioids. I, that's one I've never had had to take had to experience. So, you know, what? giving up what? In the time I grew up in high school, we done pretty much, and, and it was just the area I lived in. We done pretty much any drug you can name recreationally, and I don't. I'm not ashamed or none. It's just the environment. But opioids are the only one I just couldn't put down and walk away from and not think about again. The people that designed it designed it well. Wait, Curtis wait. said, giving up m and suck too. <laughs> giving up m and that'd be like me giving up Red Bull, wouldn't it? Yeah. It'd be tough. 
which I'm probably going to have to for long. I'm sure it's not healthy for me, and I am not 20 no more. Or said that being said, if I had a cigarette here, I'd smoke it, shaking my head. <laughs> yeah, I had a my ex-wife, her uncle had quit smoking, and he said <laughs> that uh, it'd been like 30 years. He said still every morning when he had coffee, he wanted a cigarette. 20 years or 30 years later. Well, I'm ashamed of a lot of stuff I did, but one of the things I've mostly done, I love was, was snort crank. And I gave that up just like that. But smoking, man, that's the hardest thing. I, I, I'm still struggling to fight that. Quit. I had to give her the, I'm a contractor coming in to check the supply trailer lie. I want to look at the indicator. Because they changed it to 7 o'clock, evidently, for appointments. Because if I'd have said, yeah, I'm coming in for appointments, she'd have made me turn around. But I thought it was 6.30 because my clock says 6.30. And all she'd have to do is watch where I go. I, 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 get past it. I don't like him. I don't understand why he even talks to me. I do not like you. For that lady at the gate, that's all right. I lie to her every time and get through. And I, I pull up here by getting here early. And I get this first parking spot right here almost every time. That's what I'm talking about. For that time, them doors right here was locked. Last time, I had to go down the walkway there and go in a different door. Heck, they're here mowing grass. I can smell it. <clears throat> what did I do with my hands? Mark, you can make jokes. Or John, you can make jokes, brother. I don't care. I, you know what I mean? You know me. Hey, I'm good with that stuff. Oh, about to be a good big shot. <laughs> I said in the belly, not on the belly. <laughs> ah. Chris M said, hope you are well. <laughs> the window. I got the window cracked. <laughs> Chris M said, "Hope you are well." Yeah, I'm good, brother. Nothing, nothing major. They just gotta go check his oil. Yeah, I gotta get a pap smear. <laughs> <laughs> You know that, you know, men can get cancer in the, in the boobs. Especially oh, yeah. Well, man well, it's like yes, we go to a doctor. Rusty, you, you got want, some man boobs. I know I do. I got them. You don't want to go to the doctor and hear uh, shed them and spread them. <laughs> in fact, last year, my son reached around and grabbed my boobs and said, what size bra are you wear?" Oh, I know somebody in the. And the catfish family got some nice man boobs. <laughs> <laughs> he has More a chill on not, Thursday actually. night. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Chad. Chris said slap smears for me. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing you don't want to hear when you go to the doctor. Shed them and spread them. <laughs> don't want to hear that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, going to your state today. I said I'm going to your state today. Yep, you're in 361 again. Oh, he's talking to this guy. Buggy has to go. Why? Because you're getting the next new truck? Tickle Park. I know you got the yeah, board. It, 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 it's my monthly BD shot, so I just get one as a preventive measure. 
<laughs> oh, dude. Yesterday. Buggy going got back. To I was going to go to the get a shot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I can't stand him. Talks to me like I like him. I don't even like him. He, he don't get the hint. You don't like nobody, man. You're a grumpy old man, and you're only in your 20s. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, I tried to tell him yesterday. I said, you're so miserable in your life because you bitch and complain about everything. Yep. <laughs> One of them people bringing negativity all the time. Yeah, he still gets mad at me because I call him Drippy Drew. Oh, is that oh, the one? That guy? <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right, don't have too much fun in that big truck. How'd you almost run out in that truck? Oh, you're looking at the def, not the fuel line. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's cloudy out there today. Well, that thing will take fill it up. Hey, Eric, do they uh do they load the tires up, or do you have to? I would have filled that thing all the way up, especially at Speedway. I love getting the points. Yeah, but Uncle Lou said, "Who's that?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that's uh Justin. He's from West Virginia. He's yeah, married do you, to he's married to his second to, cousin. <laughs> do you have to load up your own tires or do they load them up? <laughs> no, they load them up in the morning unless you run an in town route. And then if yeah. you have an in-town route, you have to come in here and butterfly them. They'll, they'll roll them in your truck. Thank you, you Jamaican man. Them. I appreciate it, buddy. Well, what? Good, Good morning, Jamaican. Yeah, it's a weird show today, Jamaican. I'm getting ready to run in here to the doctor, and then I'll be back out here in about an hour. Black man, Curtis is laughing at something. I don't know why he's laughing at Probably what you said, Eric. I don't know what Lou said, I think. I don't know. I don't pay attention to Uncle Lou anymore. That guy's old and senile. I don't know. I'll go back and look and see. Oh, he has to be. Mark, huh? Uncle Lou, who's deaf? <laughs> no, it, deaf is the stuff you put it mix in the fuel. Mark said, need coffee. Be right back. No, I was hoping I had a Gatorade in here to take in with me, but I don't. That's who was stopped to talk to me at the truck was that stupid Andrew. I can't stand that guy. <laughs> you don't like nobody, Grouchy man. Yeah. I'm an asshole, and I'm going to be that way for the rest of my life. That's all right. Yeah, I, I may be, but we'll only lead you off the cliff once. <laughs> I'm saving grumpy for when I get old. You kids get out of my damn yard. <laughs> sip, sip. <laughs> I told you. Yeah. Oh, I forgot I can take it. You're laughing like, but, you know, when you got negative people around you, it kind of brings you down. Uh, thank you, Jamaica. You too. Got to watch cartoons, man. Not a good, no. Need to go fishing with J-Dog and Bugway more. That's what the problem is. Uh, The weekend of shit. I, I ain't. Can't look at the calendar right now, but the weekend of the 26th and 7th, I think it is, I put in this month. And then next month, I'm speaking of making sometimes we have mom. 
the Memorial Day weekend, I'm come down to the Kentucky to the family. They have a family get together out on the family land place out there, and we're gonna take Grandma's ashes and put them, put her in the graveyard with Grandpa. We have a prior family graveyard. <laughs> But this month I'm going fishing. <clears throat> I hate going there without my phone because I don't have nothing to read. If I got anything in here to read. Uh, huh. Nope. I ain't even got nothing to read. I better plug this in though. Mm -hmm. Percentage of my battery. Yeah. We got one guy that works here that can't read. <laughs> that what can't read? I work with a guy yeah. like that. That's the same guy that stole my sausage biscuits that one morning. Well, he couldn't read that it wasn't yours. He couldn't read that it wasn't his. Yeah. Mm hmm. We got some characters that work here, I'll tell you that. I'm one of them. <laughs> At least I'll admit it. <laughs> yep. We got one guy named, yep. his name is Brian, but we all call him Bama. He reminds me of Creole. Bama? He looks like, yeah, he looks just like, because uh, he's from Alabama. He looks almost just like Creo. He's a, he's a cool guy. He's all right. <laughs> I can't hear. My cold off today. Well, I have nothing to read. That sucks. I got ten today. I got to go to West West Virginia. I ain't going there. By God, West Virginia. That's a pretty good journey, right now. Yeah. I'll save them till last. No, I can go up seven to thirty three and take thirty three back up. A lot quicker than twenty three. Be down in Stoneflies area. Oh yeah? Cool. Yeah. Well, I'd go to Jackson every day. I go to uh, what the heck was we we Warner or whatever his name? Not we Warner. Warren Farley. I'm in his area every day. Yep. Normally between. Three and eight hundred miles a day is what I put on this truck. Those build up fast, then. Yeah. And you making? Do you have your email on your about thing on your homepage or whatever? If so, I'll send you an email. No, I'm I'm in Missouri, Jamaican. <laughs> I'm going Jamaica, Jamaican rustics in the hottest part of America, Pizzeria, Missouri. <laughs> Mizzou, that's what we all call it. Mizzou. That's up north. <laughs> oh, so you're not in Missouri? We're I in Missouri. Missouri. I thought all Missouri was in Mizzou. I'm in Missouri. <laughs> Like John from Smallwater, he's a Floridian, Floridian or whatever the heck they call him. Floridian. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in misery. <laughs> so according to Uncle Lou. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Southeast Missouri, right on the Mississippi River. Right in Boot Hill. We're close to the top of the Boot Hill. You guys got severe weather today, don't you? 
how they said we were supposed to yesterday, today, and tomorrow. But yesterday, all we got was like light rain and drizzle all day. <laughs> Speaking of that, how are you doing, Lee? Uh, Jamaica, just if you want some stickers, uh, just email me outdoorsrustic at gmail.com. Anyway, baby, I'm gonna make new ones. Okay, I ran through there on 10 to LA from need Jacksonville. Get, need to get a hold of Chrissy for the brand. She She's got a place that makes stickers for a reasonable price. Oh, we lost Bugman. Uh oh. Yeah, I figured he's about to lose signal. He was cutting in and out. Yeah, one thing you don't want to do, Jamaican, is drop your address or your phone number in chat. Because oh, they don't tell do them you don't Never know what kind of weirdos will call you. Yeah, or send you. <laughs> Or show up at your place <laughs> if you don't want that. Oh no, now it's the, the Rostic Fat Boy Show. <laughs> no, it's the Eric Show. Bugman's back. Hey, Bug Show. I don't have a show no more. I canceled What's Up Wednesday a long, long time ago. That's why I hear that, Jamaican. I didn't, I didn't want to be obligated to be on to have the show every week. Mark, I had it down. That's what we pretty much yesterday. Just Thank told me I know. arrived at VA for my appointment. How in the heck does it do that? And how does it know? And why is it watching? Be buggy. Acquiring the mind. Nobody's. You know, it's government's always watching you. They just show know, up. It, well, man. In your case, they probably only show up once a month, but in my case, they show up every week. Asking for their cut of my paycheck. Okay, I had it in there. I'll be back later. Funny how that works. You don't see the government, but once a week you get your paycheck and they say, knock, knock, I want my cut. Even though I didn't do anything, I just, I want my cut. Oh, yeah. I want some. All right. Oh man. Wish I couldn't just stay at home in bed today. Oh, it's raining. Put my van at it. I'm going to leave the cam on in case there's some nurses or something walking by. You get to scope them out. How's that sound? <laughs> there you go, Eric. I'll be back. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know if you could or not, but I'm out of here. I'll be back in a little bit. Don't have too much fun in there. Oh. 
Mm-hmm. Any big plans for this weekend, Rustic? Nope. You're not going skipjack fishing? Oh, we'll think about Friday. <laughs> And I hope nobody wants to come up in this hour. Because <laughs> they'll be stuck in the basement for an hour. <laughs> yeah. Can't take much more of this rain. It's rain. Bill. Oh. Heck yeah, it's raining. So then it started to rain in. All right. Can you hear me, Eric? Yeah. Okay. How are you doing? You can get down and out of your truck? Yeah, I'm driving down the road. I got to go to therapy. Therapy? It's Wednesday. Oh, you're... Yeah, I got therapy Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Oh, there we are. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Hey, it's raining yeah. too here. You don't run into a dead oh. dead zone. It's pretty boring. I don't talk much either. <laughs> yeah, I run into a dead spot. I had to change over from uh, Wi-Fi to 4G. I'm glad 4G kicked in. What the heck is hanging over that? He's got a cake. <laughs> there we go. What the heck is that laying in the road right there? The freaking dog laying right there in the road. Look at that. <laughs> it's just somebody dropped the dog off. He just, look at that dry spot right there. Perfect imprint of a dog laying there in the road. <laughs> That's weird. He's been laying there a while. Somebody dropped that poor dog off in town. <laughs> like a German Shepherd pup. Uh, let's see what we got going on here in the chat box. Nothing, uh, just John running his mouth. <laughs> well, Doc, when I was playing, my family moved a lot, but I found them. <laughs> I couldn't believe that dog laying there in that rain like that that long that were when he finally got up and moved, it was perfect imprint of him laying there. It was dry under him. Pavement, probably warmer than laying in the grass. Yeah. I right, hope somebody picked him up. Yeah, somebody dropped him off. Dang, I ain't hauling enough dogs out of town, I guess. People got to drop them off. We're just going to get shorter dogs again. We need to drop them off up there. Pretty <laughs> cold dog, dog catcher. Had a pit bull running around the house, the friendliest thing you ever seen. And I told a buddy about it. He said, Well, bring it to my house. I'll feed him. And I took him out there, dropped him off at his house. A week later, his sucker was back in Risco. Hmm. I guess he brought him back. <laughs> I don't know.
Who didn't like the food he was feeding him? Yeah. So I decided, well, I guess if you go hang around here, I'll feed him. Hey, about two weeks later, he was gone. I don't know where he went to. Maybe he didn't like the food he were feeding him. <laughs> it probably didn't. <laughs> Move on to the next one. I mean, people try to say, you need to do something with that pit bull. That ain't my dog. I'm just not going to let him starve. Uh, Curtis said we did that to J Dog, but he came back. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> but yeah. That's weird how some can find their way back. Yeah. He said, if you're feeding it, it's yours. <laughs> no, I just can't stand to see so, an animal starve. So wait a minute. If he said, if John said that, so he's saying he feeds them pigs and all them pigs is? That's right. He's responsible for the damage they make. Yeah. No double standard, just because it's a pig there, John. <laughs> he said hell to the yes. <laughs> and he, he likes them better when he puts them on a plate, though. Oh, yeah. I, I've had wild boar bacon. It's just, it's not bacon. It, no, don't taste the same. No. I mean, I've had it where a guy soaked in the salt water for two days and then got it out, let it set for a couple hours, and uh, and then smoked it, and it was real good. Pigs taste better than dogs. <laughs> I'll glue. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't eat at the Chinese restaurants. <laughs> I've glued a dog before. <laughs> Sound like it. I knew that I would grease you one if you ever come. He said, if you ever come down, he'll grease you one up. Good, and I don't want a dog. Like, eat the cat. Wow, it's starting to rain at my house, and two miles down the road, it's not a drop. <laughs> oh, now we're driving into some mist. Hey, my sister and wife's thinking about a Florida trip down there. Might have to stop by and see old John. If we go down. Well, I doubt Florida we go on vacation this year. Florida is only a good place to visit. Not a place you want to live. No, I've That's flew down there twice. I've never cared for it either time. Led to Tampa and a place called Avon Park around that area. And I never cared for either one of them. The only place I've been to Florida is Destin. I loved it. I like Destin. That's a beautiful place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, I've been down there. I don't mind visiting. Good place to business spots, but I don't care for ever living down there. Now, if he's filthy rich, that'd be a different story. No. Nope. I still wouldn't live down there if I was filthy rich. <laughs> It's the only place I want to live. Happy with being here in Ohio. Besides, the winter time sucks, but you know, yeah, winter time keeps the crackheads <laughs> in the clothes that we crack under the ground. The covers it up. John told me, said he said, "Rustic Florida's closed that week." 
Good, that saved me money. <laughs> I go to Branson. It's cheaper. Well, I don't know about that either. <laughs> That's pretty expensive to go to Branson too. I'd like to see John in Alaska. That'd be funny. Jody said, I like Florida except for the last place I stayed, Port Charlotte on a canal. I'd rather stay on the bay and fish. Uh, Uncle Lou said, Curtis, Eric, how far from Erie are you guys? How far from Erie Lake, are you? Lake Erie, we're on the, we're in the southeast part of Ohio. We're in good ways. Like Erie. Probably a good three hours. Yeah, I don't think John would know what to do up there in Alaska. He'd be up there in a t shirt. Shorts would be like, holy, holy. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've been in Central Florida. I lived in close to Central Florida. Yeah, it's a lot of dairy farms down there. I worked at one when I first got married and we moved to Florida and uh, worked at a dairy farm. Worked for a company that planted orange trees every day I wear. He said, I know what to do in Alaska. Move. <laughs> if you're in Alaska, move. I don't think I can live in Alaska either, man. Them bugs are like thick down there. Well, I couldn't Bad live enough. there because I'd, I'd try to go nuts when the sun went away for six months. Yeah, like, what just the? Jeff, we have a place on. <laughs> See, that's the key. Does that, does that, know, that mean I'm a bear? Go to sleep for six months while the sun's not out? <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I can imagine swatting a fly or a mosquito off around your face every now and then, but you move to Alaska, it's it's constant slapping yourself unless you wear that, that netting stuff. Catfish and crappie, TBH. I have no idea where I'd move. Curtis said, if you talk about Erie, Pennsylvania, four hours and 30 minutes. <laughs> Mark, I was just thinking the same thing. Like and hate where I live. Chris Sims said he's just listening and laughing. <laughs> when I worked down at, uh, when I lived down in Tampa, I worked for a company that sold outboard motors, and we were setting up uh, displays in these big, huge ballrooms at the motels, these hotel things down in Tampa, and uh, we had to set back. We had to, uh, they served these big dinners and everything, and we got fed, but we, we had to stay backstage and stuff like that. And when it was over, we had to load, take them down, load them back up, move on to the next one. Got paid good money. Straps on that thing, Dad.
Why is Uncle Lou taking a trip to Lake Erie? I don't know. Probably after his ankle heals up, I'd say, because if he had to scoot, it'd take him more than four hours to get there. I, I see the drive with that guy Johnny hangs out with, or Mario Andretti was driving. He'd be there, he'd be there pretty quick. <laughs> as long as he can keep making them right turns or left turns. Well, as long as these guys depends on them. <laughs> Them, them guys, he, his daughter and uh, John need to hang out with Bugman, you know. Yeah, he Bug said, man maybe, make you drive slower. He said, maybe next April, since missing my Canada trip, something, unfortunately, I didn't catch all before it left. He said, it might be April, next April. That's you. I'd wait to May, let the weather warm up a little more. <laughs> he wants to come get some big chain rats. Oh, man. Yeah, we were supposed to get some pretty good storms roll through here, but for some reason, they're parting and going north and south of us. One big one went through Tennessee yesterday. Afternoon. on for a little bit yesterday. Not what's going on. Morning, Sandy Toes. Wait until May and those walleyes will be gone. Morning, Sandy. Bugman's in the Bugman's in the uh, VA hospital. He won't be back for probably another forty-five minutes. Yeah, he's got an appointment. Near the village. Uh, yeah, I'll be down to Ohio this May. Be down there for a week, and I uh, hope I can catch some walleyes. I've never caught one. We're going to be out on Erie, I think. Sorry, I can't catch all the chat, folks, but I'm trying. I know one thing, it is really, really cloudy. This guy must be on his phone or something. He's all over the road. Stonefly. Come to Ohio River. You can catch walleye there. Close up to eight pounds. <laughs> yeah, but I heard on Ohio that you gotta go up by the dams to catch walleye. It's still flooded down there. Stonefly. Said yes. He said yes. Yes, 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 yes. Next spring, I want to fish pool seven for walleye. Well, hopefully in May we'll get down there and we catch some, get together, and uh, we all catch walleye. We're gonna do a catch, clean and cook video. I've never had walleye. I can't wait to try it. Yeah. 
Only pitch I get is from Arby's. Stone flies what I love here. Okay, River will come up next week. That's what I caught. Mo Chat's moving pretty good. Walleye's good and fish taco, said Stone Fly. Huh, yeah, I've heard that. Mark said they are killing, killing them this week up there, but I can't make the time to afford to get away. Yeah, you got Dr. Foreman's working on your car. <laughs> Johnson, I'm a fish taco fan. I can hear one thing I said, I've never had a fish taco. Yeah, you can't get my Arby's. I guess I'll never get a fish taco. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same on the Wisconsin River Lee 14 three quarter wildlife all day long. I don't know. They say that walleye is pretty good eating. Well, I'll have to check it out. What's up, Mr. Murillo? Murillo, good morning. I was on a 62 highway coming home uh, from the bank when I sold my boat. And I was running 65 mile an hour down there, didn't know it. I seen this black, big black SUV coming at me on the other lane. And I noticed behind it, there was another black SUV. And as I passed him, I noticed it was a state patrol officer. And I hit the brake real quick, let off the brake, just let it slow down to about 59 mile an hour. And just, just like that, his lights came on. I thought, oh, I'm a head duck. He pulled the vehicle over in front of him. <laughs> I thought, phew. And he was following that dude for a long ways. But I guess I set the radar off and he thought that guy was doing it. I don't know, but. <laughs> he, probably ran, he probably ran both your plates and that guy had more. More stuff on him. <laughs> I don't know. I just kept on going. I slowed down to 60 and kept on going. Kept looking back and I seen he had it pulled over. I thought, whew, I thought he's fixed to get me. Uh, Stonefly said, I still like yellow perch. Mark is fun, frustrating. Probably caught 200 Wednesday before Christmas, but all that. We're 10 to 14. Makes you wonder how the next few years will be. So I think I, I've never eat perch. I did when I was younger. I don't remember what they taste like. Like I said, you can't hardly find perch around here anymore. If you do, you got to go up northern Missouri, more likely. We used to have carp. You can catch carp, common carp, everywhere around here. And you can't hardly catch them anymore. Every once in a while, you'll find a place that's got them. Mississippi Rivers got them. Don't leave the river below the dam. See these guys keeping them 10 inch fish. Huh. What's worse, speeding or reading chat while driving? Reading chat while driving. I'm just glancing over once in a while. That's why I'm spot reading. Hey, look at there. I can go. Hopefully, ain't nobody coming. It's kind of hard for me to read chat. Yeah. Stupid phone keep bouncing up and down. Dude, I'm about to get up. Well, I got my phone set up where it's right there in front of me. Mine's right in front of me, too, but the phone holder that holds it bounces up and down. So. 
Makes it a little hard to read chat. <laughs> Jody said, actually getting pulled over is a great way to get a sub. <laughs> I don't think I'd want to sub. Somebody sub to me like that. <laughs> I'm not that yeah. wanting to sub that bad. I don't want to. I don't want to pay for that sub. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, only sub I want to pay for is Jersey Mike sub. <laughs> yeah, or a firehouse sub. Hey, Roger. Good morning. What's up, Roger? Yep, it's home day. Huh? Retired Rick Day. Yep, it's hump day and it's John Smallwater's birthday today. Uh oh, Ryan Hall just went live. Huh? Ryan Hall just went live or getting ready to go live. Yeah, I seen where he had a deal pop up. That's not good. Well, they do have some disturbing weather going, I think, south or north, though, so I don't remember which. <laughs> it's a bit foggy, hazy this morning, but it's not bad. It's way off. Visibility is pretty good ways. Looks like it might be coming in some good fog here to Sykeson. Bring out the hemp. Morning, Denise. Let Brian B. Dinkins. Yeah, Bubblegum Brian. That. That's what I'm going to call him. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't they got that fish a thon thing this weekend? Yeah, I think so. I got to go spend time with my sister this weekend. Yeah, I think it's Friday after I get out of therapy, I'm going to run over to Kentucky and try and catch some skipjack. She said, it's don't, right let, away, don't let Roger come back down there and steal all your skipjack. <laughs> Hey, I gave him three big old seven gallon bucket pools. Was up there. I tried to help him. Make his trip worth wild. Fish it on, ain't that Chad's gimmick or whatever? Chad's. Chad's. I, I don't know. Morning, Miss Chrissy. I think I it's at nine o'clock. I think it's like, hey, good morning, Mr. Christie. I think it's like a nine o'clock in the morning. Brian B. Good morning. Brian Bubblegum B. Someone say thong. Is that what that said? Uh, Jasmine's fast. I can't see it now. Uh, Buggy went to the VA. He's got a VA appointment to the, this morning. He'll be out in a while. He'll be back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Denise. Yeah, good morning, Denise. Wilson Truck in Campbell, Missouri. Hey, I welded over some of his trailers. Hey, dude, you're spraying my truck. Windshield, I can't say. That 
come. He's kicking some wind off that truck. Morning, Danny. <laughs> so we are. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, Roger, we're unsupervised. <laughs> I don't know how much supervised the bug man's going to do. Yeah, he told me this morning, he said, I'm going to give you the power because I got me to VA in about an hour. And I thought, you didn't give me no power, you didn't send me the email. <laughs> so I can't pull nobody up. Yeah. Look at this car coming up beside me over here. The headlights are flopping up and down. Down and right back up. Yeah, I think the creeks came down, but they're going right back up. Yeah. Well, I crossed over the floodways this morning. And, uh, two creeks rained already this month. Yeah, look, this is, water level's not that bad. What was that yesterday? I think it was yesterday. I don't know what it's like this morning. I do know they said the Mississippi River's fixed up. Get up high. Yeah. Stonefly says storms moving in over night tonight. I don't think Ohio's supposed to get them till Thursday. Yeah. I'm coming up on this bridge right here. There was a guy parked over to the side beside this bridge. He was fishing out of this little ditch. He had a barely little water. I think he was trying to catch bait. He's got water in it now. The other day he had Barely a little stream running down to it. Must, must have had a hole right there to catch a bait out of it. Yeah. Tomorrow is Thursday. Thursday. Can we stop for some biscuits and a scratch offs? No. Oh, yeah. That Mississippi's going to get high. I ain't stopping nowhere today. I'm going to give me some peanut butter and jelly. Uh. You know what? I might stop down and, uh, and go check out the, Mo uh, the Mothman Mu Museum. I well, no, 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 I will be able to do that. On a 205. Go down and check out off man. Yeah. Eat my lunch on the Ohio River, see how high it is down there. Yeah, we got three days of storms rolling through, and the most of them cutting around going up north. That means the river's gonna drop gonna drop some water in that Mississippi net. Yeah, that Mississippi gonna get Rolling. You got a loaf of bread too, Uncle Lou. <laughs> what do you say? I thought Uncle Lou said, he, Oh Lord, he even takes a BB on the road. <laughs> I got Pop Tarts in here too. <laughs> Well, you got to have something with you when you're waiting in the basement, when you're with Buggy's live. That, I'm fat. Really got to eat. Des Moines is as high as I've seen in the past two years, but I could be wrong. My eyes are two years older than that same stretch of time. Oh, as well. Be it. It'll be a wet year, it seems like. Yeah. 
I have to get my brother to move his old car out back and man, put the boat in the driveway. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Sykestead. Boy, they built another big hotel right there. It's probably some foreigners with some more of our free government money. Boy, it is hazy foggy over here this morning. But the visibility is a lot better. Oh, I like that truck right there. Oh, there we go. We're green. Seth going to put a hamper on skips moving up the Ohio to catch. Uh. Over in Kentucky, the higher the water, the better it is. <laughs> well, you know where the waste water treatment plant is down by the fairgrounds. I'm going to be talking about somewhere in Iowa. The restaurant back here. I never do that back here. Man, that's three trips I had to come up here so far this week. Any more weeks of therapy you got to do? Uh, I don't know. They just started working on my uh, shoulder, stretching it to where I can at least try to reach around and stretch my back some or something, get my arm behind my back. Because whenever I try to move it to uh, reach around behind my back, it just it stops right there like it's locked. Like somebody's holding it. So they're trying to stretch that muscle. And I I left out of here Monday. It was it was throbbing pretty good. Morning, Dave Bozart. Morning, Dave, Dave Geiger. Boy, there was a bad wreck here yesterday morning by this car wash I passed right down there. Uh, there was an SUV and one of them, uh, like a small white mail carrier van. And boy, it was a head on collision. Cool. Well, they had every cop in town, two ambulances, the fire truck. Oh, it was bad. I'm, I'm out of here. Jay Dog's here. I'm gone. See y'all later. <laughs> Jay Dog, come in. Morning, Jay Dog. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, it was a bad, bad wreck. I mean, that bell carrier van hit that SUV so hard it throwed it right into the. Uh, Wall the car wash. Either that or they hit and they rolled into it or something. I don't know either way, but it damaged the car wash. Hey, we stopping at our Favorite Love's Place? Huh? Taco John's. Taco John's. Yeah, I'll stop it. I'll be stopping in there. 
16, smoke a nasty cigarette. He you know, doesn't pay to be in a hurry. Pays better to take your time. <laughs> John, happy birthday, old guy. Get him, Curtis. Say happy birthday to him. <laughs> okay, now I got to find that big old tooth. There it is. I had to go down some, some streets yesterday if I was at Saxton. There's a there was a Lou Road and a Reed Lane. <laughs> right behind that, the next street was Reed. I thought that was weird. So, wow. <laughs> oh, let's see here. Good morning, everyone, and happy birthday, Mr. John, says J Node. Oh, look at you. You see me coming. You're going to pull right out there, huh? All right. I'll slow down for you. Well, there's two therapists here. Therapy people. I don't know what Heather drives, so can't tell if she's here. Is that Heather Lockwood? Oh, I wish. <laughs> I'll be telling you, you got a you got a blanket or a towel I can cover up with so I can walk out of here. <laughs> she starts massaging my shoulder and stuff. Uh. Oh, there's a stop. Let me get a little straight here so nobody hits my old junked up man here. There we go. Let's see. All right. That's right. Games took him. Uh, what was that? Let me go back up the chat here. Curtis, I'd fire you too if you quit showing up. Curse your last name Jones, because I think that's what you got fired. He didn't fire you just up and quit. Rustic, I can't hog leg fired me. I think it's because of my singing. <laughs> hey, I text him. <laughs> Muskrat Rob Ventures. Jimmy. Yeah, I might I might go up. I got therapy Friday morning at seven. I might leave from here. Head up there to see if I can catch something. Just depends on how muddy it is or how fast that water flow is. <laughs> but at different stages, there's three different spots I fish, depending on what stage it's on. Between gaming and worm farming, man only has so many things. <laughs> Roger says, right, Lou, no call, no show, no job. <laughs> hey, Curtis was on vacation, man.
I bet not, Uncle Lou. I wonder if he's ever been fishing yet. I don't know. <coughs> oh, he watching parking wards. Yeah, I'm sitting here in front of the, uh, the third place. <laughs> Sound like Eric's back, got him a taco. You know, that place is overpriced and nasty. I wouldn't go there. Wouldn't yeah, they got, a, they got a Taco John's here in Sykeston, and we was over on this side of Sykeston where it's at. And, uh, Taco Bell's on the other side, so we was over here, and I, I said, let's just get Taco John. I won't go oh. back. <laughs> you gotta risk go to Taco Bell. Uh, John said two therapy and one food stop. <laughs> no, it's uh, one food getting stop. his oil checked, one doing therapy, and the other one getting a pee break. Okay. Yeah, pee bark. Morning, dog and I. Can't smoke in the truck. Morning, dog and I. Curtis. <laughs> That's why I didn't bring that that car up here from Enterprise because you can't smoke in it either. Besides that, it's tough getting in out of that car. So I told her leave that new one parked and drive that one. John said, wish we could yell at people walking by Buggy's car. <laughs> Hope Eric washed his hands. Yeah, I did. Now, I will say this. That's right, Uncle Lou. Taco John's bacon breakfast burrito is pretty good. I have yeah, had that. They're two for seven. What it says on the sign up there. But I'll pass. I got to have a Pop-Tart. <laughs> Got that sweet tooth this morning. I know that reminds me. I didn't fix breakfast this morning before I come up here. I'm hungry. Look at there. Yeah, I have had their bacon breakfast burrito. It's pretty good. Louisiana's getting hit hard with storms, tornado warnings, and stuff. Wow. It was the right. Yeah, I think that's where the the, the worst storm's going to hit a little further south of <laughs> us, anyway. Yeah, I wish I didn't do that. Now they got to tear it all up before Chris gets down there. Do what? So they got they gotta tear it up before uh Rick gets down there. Yeah. Yeah, this time of year it's kinda hard to plan to go somewhere because you don't know what that weather's ever gonna do this time of year. Falling back to sleep. I'm falling back to sleep. Better pick up the entertainment here. <laughs> uh, Mar said, said one more hour till Riley's opens up. <laughs> Soulfly said it's around the Lake Charles area. I don't know that area. I don't either. I don't know anything about Louisiana. No. Don't know nothing about it. Not a place I want to go visit. Heck, I don't. I can't even tell you if I've ever been to Louisiana. I can tell you, I Alabama, have to... Georgia. Most places I go is Ohio, West Virginia. In Kentucky. Yeah. 
<clears throat> I've been pretty much all over the United States, but there's some places I have not been. I mean, most of my traveling's been done to, from Florida straight across here down out west. <clears throat> it's on my bucket list to fish with Jeremy and also fish the river down there west of Baton Rouge. <laughs> yeah, you go down there where Creole's at. Now, Creole could put you on some fish. I recommend if you get a chance to go fish with somebody, go down there where he's at. He could put you on some fish. That dude knows what he's doing. He knows that water. Curtis says, J Dog, you want to go, bro? There's you some entertainment. You get him, Curtis. Back get him. <laughs> J Dog. <laughs> Curtis, I don't win. What up? <laughs> Lucy Curtis just popped it out there. Man, it is quiet up here this morning. J Dog tried to mess with me by texting me a bunch of thumbs up from a number I didn't know. Like that was the first time that happened. <laughs> oh, he's texting you a number one. <laughs> hey, just like on that. Arnold Schwarzenegger Christmas movie that he made. Don't forget, you're my number one customer. Don't forget, you're my number one customer. He even told his wife that. <laughs> he just telling you you're number one fan. Question. Are you better off to buy the best trolling motor you can afford and get a sonar later or get a cheaper one of a trolling motor? And so it depends on, uh, in my opinion, it depends on how much you use the trolling motor. I mean, that's something Roger can answer you or Uncle Lou and them, but <laughs> J Dog's a solar, sonar and trolling motor. Yeah, just go to the bank, take out a loan, buy both of them. But I mean, if you use a trolling motor a lot, I'd say trolling motor. Yeah, Roger, I'd say trolling motor. I mean, you can put any sonar on there now to help you try to get you a, a guess or estimate about what's down there. But like I said, if you use a troller motor a lot, that troller motors, you better spend the money on troller motor first. And that's right. Get what you want or you won't be happy. Yeah, uh, Bugman said that just told him to, to send it to Jody if he wanted to. And that way, when you get that, just worry about getting a trolling motor. And I think Stonefly said he was going to get the package or something in today or tomorrow or something like that. Don't listen to Roger. He knows absolutely nothing about a trolling motor or a fish finder. <laughs> well, I don't know about his trolling motor, but I like watching his discussions on fish finders. I learned a lot just from watching. At least on the screen, I know partially what I'm looking at. Next question, can I get by with the 24 volt? Yes. The one up center has a four by four screen, but it works good. 
That's awesome, Stonefly. I'm going to have that 36 volt chopping some. I don't know. That's one thing I couldn't tell you the difference between a 24 volt and a 36 volt. I just know the battery amounts, but I can't tell you how long it lasts, the difference, or whatever. Oh, I'm going to have the 36 volt chopping grass like a solid salad shooter. <laughs> Jody will tune in current. I wouldn't settle for less than 36 volt. 112 pound thrust myself. Yeah, I know 12 volts is the difference, but I don't know if it makes the batteries last longer or more power or, or what. I don't know anything about that. You would. I would. Get the 36 volt. Not the thrust matter more than the voltage. Bass Pro suggested a 12 volt to me. I like with a pontoon, when well, you got to take in the, the breeze or the wind into consideration, I would be more lenient to the 36 volt or, or the 24. J Dog says, Yeah, I agree, Mark. A pontoon is a lot to move and spot lock. And then you got to consider that that's like a parachute on the, on the water. Uh, I have the 36 volt, 112 pound Tarova. <laughs> yeah, don't listen to those guys at Bass Pro. They're just trying to sell you a 12 volt. <laughs> have you ever heard anyone say they have too much power? Nope, just a lot of power. I thought the thrust is what mattered. Power. If you ain't first ah, I'm just a, I'm just a yeah. dummy of the killing. <laughs> you know, the one thing I do know is, is that if you're fishing up closer to that dam and more current, yeah, you're going to need something more than 12 volt. Go have something with more power to it. Jody, how bad was the kid's acne that told you that at Bass Pro? That's funny. I just started here yesterday, but I recommend a 12 volt for your size pontoon. Here you go. This is the new 46 pound thrust model. <laughs> It'll work great. It's highly recommended. Morning, Rhonda. Morning, Rhonda. <laughs> motor working harder will kill batteries faster. Bigger motor makes less effort. Yeah. I asked him, would he buy it for his boat? He said yes. Yeah, he would buy it for his boat because he probably ain't got one. He is working at Mass Pro, you know. Northern View, good morning. I don't know if they work off, the people at Mass Pro work off commission. I don't know. I kind of doubt it. But yeah, if you go fish, Jody, if you go fish more up there towards the dam, you're definitely going to need a bigger, more powerful trolling motor, which means you're going to have to upgrade to 24 or 36. And if you're fishing up around that dam and you want to spot lock yourself, uh, 36 is what you're going to, would be better. And Roger said so you also get more run time. We used to have a 24 volt on the Ranger boat, and then it 
went out, burned up or something, and I put a 12 volt on it, and I noticed that we had a lot r longer run time on it, 24, than we did at 12. So, yep, Roger's right about that. I know that's a lot of questions, but that's how I learned. Yep, that's right, Jody. My nephew worked there, no commission, base pay. Yep, that's about right, Rhonda. Most people who work here don't know. They're just there to help you find what you need and and guess at it. And not all bass pros are the same because the one up at Branson caters more to trout and bass. And they got a good blue fishery up there, uh, cat fishery up there, but they do trout and bass and then you get a place where there's a lot of big major catfishing area. They got a lot of catfish stuff. Also something to consider if you're going to the lithium batteries or lead acid batteries because three batteries weigh more than two. Yeah, make them lithium batteries a lot higher. Roger, you have a show I can watch about. Yeah, Roger needs to do one on that comparison on controller motors. Refresh everybody's memories. Just get you a nice Terovo, Tero, Terova, 36 volt, 120 pounds, and a Garmin 93 SV Eco Map, and you will be set. Yeah, J Dog likes his. Get what you pay for. If it's cheaper, then it's cheaper. All right, Eric, you got it. I got to go ahead and get my therapy started. I'll be right back. Morning, Terry B. Did you get that, Eric? What? So I got to go ahead and get my therapy started. I'll be right back here in a little bit. All right. Oh, everybody. Oh, mm. oh, one leaves and the other comes back. Mm. Hold on, I gotta stand up a minute. That hurts you bad. Mm. They didn't want to leave me by myself. Didn't know what kind of mischief this young man get into. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, work. Everything turned out all right in there? Yeah, but the shot in the belly sure hurts like a big dog, man, dude. I'm telling you. It'll be all right here in about a half hour. The first 15 seconds are agony, and then the next 30 minutes is just kind of tolerable pain, but doesn't mean I have to like it. Oh. Mm.
Well, I'll be honest with you. That that pain's worth every single every single ounce of it. It works so good. And especially with all the stuff I'm around on a daily basis right now. Without it, I'd be uh, strung out. Don't let nobody kid you. Five eight of twenty four. I can be back at seven thirty a.m. I can't wait. <laughs> My laugh always teased the nurse that gives shot. I said, "You guys are masochists, man. You just enjoy doing this to people. I mean, you're having way too much fun." Hi, right, John. All right, buddy. You going fishing this morning? Oh. Chores then fishing. Yep, I'm with you. I got most of my chores done yesterday. But I got to see a house, so I got to pull some paperwork and print out, you know, the property card and the sketch and stuff. But we'll get to that when the time comes, I reckon. That bad boy all the way up on bright now. Let's turn no, I want no adaptive, whatever. I want that bright. There you go. That's what we're talking about. Now I can see again. Oh, my goodness. Five a day. Are you kidding me? I couldn't do it. And the stuff they that they squirt in there is like really thick because it it lasts for a month as it dissolves in your system and i think that's what burns the most is it's so thick i mean it, they have to take their time squirting it in you know what i'm saying that's the worst part because it takes about eight or nine seconds to push it all in there and then the burn slowly starts after they start plunging the syringe Yo, know, maybe I'm the masochist because I like to talk about it. I better quit. Oh. Let's get out of Marion, Indiana. Nothing good happens in Marion, Indiana that I know of. <laughs> But it's a nice little VA hospital, that's for sure, man. Compared to, I used to go to the one in Indianapolis. And I thought they were all like it. I mean, this place is so busy that they have uh, primary care providers there, too. If they would do away with, you know, having regular doctors there and just do it as a hospital, it wouldn't be so crowded. But you literally have to get there at 5 a.m. or so to get a parking place. Otherwise, you're driving around waiting for someone to come out and leave. And then the halls are just packed full of people. And Lord forbid you have to go get a prescription at the pharmacy there before you leave. Because you're going to be there an hour waiting on them at least. Because at one time, the VA liked to give out prescriptions a whole lot.
And this guy doesn't look real promising, does it? We'll probably see rain before we get home, I'm thinking. These tracks used to be so rough, we'd have to idle across them. Oh, yeah, I'm not fishing for whiskers. You know, that's what I tell the doctor we talk about. I won't have to have some better going, and I'm not sitting there looking at some of the strongest opioids you can get your hands on on a daily basis. I won't have to come here no more. Because when I move to Cicero, where my son lives, I'll never be around it. It's just, it's not there for, for me to get access to it. And I am never going to go. I mean, I would never just go out and perform. But I mean, oh, cool. A little carburetor. Yeah. There might be two of them right here, I don't remember. It's a great day to be alive. The sun's still shining. John, where do you see that? I'm just singing. It's a hopeful song, man. I'm being optimistic. That glass is half full means that sun's coming back out. It almost looks like a solar eclipse out here. Yeah. I'm telling you, that was the coolest, the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life, man. Bar none. It was unbelievable. Not just the part when it got dark, but the whole thing of, you know, you're sitting there and you can slowly, as it, the moon gets more over, you slowly feel the temperature dropping. And I say it probably drops 15 degrees here at least. And then as it drops, a light breeze started blowing. And then as it got dark, the frogs in my pond started singing. I need a mountain dew, that's what I need. A big ice cold frosty fountain mountain dew. Good for what else you wasn't squirrel man, it was I mean I had never seen a total like that before. And my son and them went down to Kentucky for the last one. And when he come back, he was telling me about it. And I'm like, yeah, hey, I see part of the eclipse, you know. But he's like, no, you don't understand when you can take your glasses off and actually look up at it. And uh, the whole concept of the temperature dropping and all, I mean, it was unbelievable. Just one of them simple things in life that ended up being real cool. I'm going to go. I'll lose you guys here directly. I don't just imagine if back in the day, before all the technology, you know, looking up and seeing the sun disappear. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Right. Poop your brains. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, could you imagine what how bad it freaked out, you know, the Native Americans and stuff like that, you know, thousands of years ago or whatever, they would have been freaking. Yeah. You can see how they started sacrificing people to the sun for it to come back. Quick, kill her. Kill Bonnie. She's the one. If we kill her, the sun will return. Yeah. The sun shall return. I never noticed that A-frame right there. That's cool. I always wonder an A-frame house. I don't know why. Yeah, that Red Bull's not even cold. Morning, Gig. Gig, sir, how are you, buddy? How you doing today? Are you going fishing or are you doing shrimping right now? I can't really read the chat because I'm driving. Yeah, it's not recommended. <laughs> yeah, yeah, be kind of hard to explain with my little car wrapped around a tree. Well, you see, I was talking to Gig Ability about going shrimping, and I kind of lost track of what I was doing. Y'all understand, right? <laughs> no, Mr. Wedmore, we are not going to cover that. And we have no idea who Mr. Gig Ability is, so that part is irrelevant to us. It's 52 degrees, so I really, I'm okay with the sun not being out. As long as it's not freezing cold, I'm wearing a coat. I'm in a t-shirt and shorts right now, and I'm happy, happy, happy. <clears throat> that guy built him a brand new pole barn, nice one. He got yeah. the wind discovered up. Imagine hitting that on a motorcycle about 120. You'd land about right here, I'd say. See people out in the rain driving, riding the motorcycle. That must suck, man. Yeah, I, know how, I agree. I know how it feels when you're flying around on the boat. The water hitting you in the face yep. or whatever. That's a sting like a mother. Me and dad was talking with my buddy last night. He stopped by and uh, me and him on the motorcycle ride we went on. If He was probably getting ready to turn 80. He was either 79 or 80, I think. But we got caught in the hellerous rainstorm on the two-lane road in the mountains of Kentucky. And there was nowhere to pull off. For probably 20 minutes, we rode in a, just the hardest downpour. It never let up. You could barely see, let alone ride. And we just happened to come across. It was like a little barbecue trailer that had a like a carport awning on the porch type in front of it. We pulled in under there. We even had rain gear on, and I was still soaked. And that's when I pulled the phone out and started looking for a hotel close. Yeah. Yeah, because it was about four in the afternoon, so we was pretty much done for the day anyhow. Because we didn't really have a route or nothing. I would just get up that morning wherever we were and pull up a map and find the twistiest looking road and say, well, we'll take that one and see where it goes. These cars are freaking spread out wrong. Yeah, never. I should have went the I other did. way. <laughs> I'll never get out of here. Good to see Skip Clearview Outdoors at work today. Oh, yeah? 
Yeah. It's easy to spot if he's at work because he's got his logo sticker on the back of his truck. <laughs> nice. Good morning, Ashley Brady. How are you today, huh? Morning, Ashley. Um, um. Um, come on, man, hurry up, people. You're killing me over here driving so slow. I'm the only one allowed to do that. And only when I'm not holding up traffic. Slower than you do. Yeah. I hate when they're spaced out so much that you, they're not right next to each other, but you can't get enough room to pull out. We're definitely hitting the McClure's right up here and getting us a Mountain Dew or something. Oh, man. I would hit the Village Pantry, but they quit having styrofoam cups, so you, you just can't get a, a fountain soda that's not in a styrofoam cup. It sweats and fills your cup holder up with, with water and... Eh. What's about as bad as you do? Yeah. Actually, <laughs> that's a fact. You have seen me sweat, haven't you? I sweat, man. I ain't lying. Yeah, I guarantee you there's a towel laying. You. There's a towel laying right here that I carry today. Today's towel is tan with stripes. Oh. I bet you get bit by a lot of mosquitoes, too. Nope. What? Well, I would, but I use. You ever seen them little coils? They're like an incense burner thing, and it's a coil with all yeah. made by of off. I use those when I'm camping and I'm sleeping in my truck. I light one up in the front of the truck and one in the back, and keep some mosquitoes out of the truck when I'm sleeping. And then, like, when I'm fishing, I'll light two of them, like, one on each side of me. But I'm going to get one of those ultrasonic things or whatever I seen last year. Hey, what's up, Chris? How are you guys? I'll be back. i got to unload these five tires. All right. Hey, Chris, did you say something about you're going to be on vacation or something pretty soon? Or something. It said, what'd you say? Three days or something a while earlier this morning. I don't remember. Oh, they got worms in here, man. I ought to grab me a dozen night crawlers while I'm in here because I'm out. Well, I have the window and I have the hatch open in the back and stuff. It's not bad. It could affect for the brain damage I have. Oh, you are. You're going down with fish with Creole? Is that where he's from? Or is he Mississippi? That's cool, man. Oh, I remember him talking about aren't you all coming down because he was talking about getting you guys in the current and stuff. Yeah. How cool. That's one of my bucket list fishing spots, too, to go down and fish with, with Creole once. Damn, lady, you the fastest peer I ever seen. There's no way you went in that bathroom and peed and come back out that fast. They got ice cream in there, too. Heck, yeah. All right, I'll be back. Oh, shit, I got to see if I got any money. Hold on, I don't think I got any money yet. wonder if it's if I'm capable of checking my account. Alligator guard, nice, and great big ones. That's cool. All right, I'll be back. Hopefully this won't close me out or whatever, but it'll still be active with Rustic and uh, Eric, so I'll be back.
cool. It looks like it's still there. I like it. Hundred mile an hour, no way. That's batting down the hatches, baby. Stay in the house. All right, now I'll be back. Nice Jeep. <laughs> Go to Dairy Queen and get him a cake, Jody. Dairy Queen ice cream cakes are good. Somebody says they're not. They ain't never had one. <laughs> It's a nice looking Jeep right there. It's 
some big rims on her. Oh. Ice cream. Makes you fart. No thanks. Oh, come on, Jody. Ice cream cakes are delicious. If I was James, I'd be eating ice cream all the time then. What's up, retired Rick? Like friends. Like we look. People. Get out of this stink of town. I want to get out of this stink of town of stink of coffee. These are about the closest two stops that I have. <laughs> to each other. The rest of them are all a good ways apart. I'm saving West Virginia for last. What time is it? Oh, heck. We already Eight. run over again, didn't we? We're getting bad about we're getting bad about this running over on our time. Buggy, go buggy. You never have, you don't have a set schedule. This is true. I don't have one in my life even. <laughs> I'll be back. That's three. This would be a good day for a nap. It would be a good day to go. I might go home and take a nap before I gotta go see the house. Good morning, Miss Place Country Girl. How are you today? I know you may have been here a while, but I can't read the chat when I'm driving. Now we gotta decide on 
whether to take the interstate or take the two lane highway way. I can't remember which has the most dead zones. I think I'll take the back way. Prettier that way. Oh crap, what happened? There we go. There we go. I don't know. Hey, retired Rick, how you doing, buddy? You know, Mr. Retired Rick, me and you agree 100% on the nap. Naps are awesome. You hated them when you was a kid, but now it's like, man, I'd sure love to have time to squeeze a nap in today. And now that it's getting nice out, I'm going to find me a nice chair to put out on the deck, some kind of comfortable patio chair. And I'll be sitting out there taking naps in it. There's this town close to Indy called Carmel, Indiana, in Hamilton County. It's like Hamilton County is the place where people like Reggie Miller and Peyton Manning and stuff have houses at when they live here. And they have rummage sales there in that area in the spring. And you can buy some good stuff. Not super cheap because they're rich people. But I mean, you can go buy a $1,000 patio set at one of their rummages for a couple hundred dollars probably. Because the wife decides she wants a different color patio motif the second year. You know, Lord forbid they match the second year. You got to change them. But I actually have a stand-up freezer that a guy gave me when I was at a rummage one day in that neighborhood. Oh, man. Yeah. And I hope he's skilled enough not to take your fence out. But going to rummages over in Carmel used to be a thing when I lived over there. I bought a set of Bose speakers for five bucks one time. They're not the 901s. They're next step down or 701s, I think, or whatever. But, I mean, they're $500 speakers when they were new. You know, Squirrel, I'm going to have to look into that. I've never heard of them. Ah, uh, yeah. These goofy ass people across the road from me just moved into this house last week. When the eclipse is not too far from the time it's going to get ready to start, they start burning some crap in their backyard and pretty much smoke the whole neighborhood. Not neighborhood. I got a dead end street with about six houses on it. And I was like, are you kidding me? Don't you people know there's a freaking eclipse getting ready to happen and you're filling in the air with smoke so I can't see? Oh, yeah. He's still in the store? Or did he forget something? Yeah, Rick, I'm going to have to check your show out. I need to make sure I got you on the notification thing because someone told me your show was pretty good that, you know, I hadn't seen it yet because it usually comes on. What is it? What time does it come on? Is it in the afternoon or evening time? I can't remember, but it's usually I was doing something, so I hadn't got to see it yet. Dave Bozar, fellow buddy. Well, I reckon I ought to get driving here. Hey. Hey. What? I can't remember what time it is. We could go by and drive under the covered bridge again. And it was daylight this time. 
We might do that on the way home. What do you think? Sound like a plan, Stan? Sounds like a plan. We'll go drive through the covered bridge. Okay, it's, it's Wednesday at 8 o'clock. Wednesdays, okay. What happens on Wednesdays at 8 usually? Central time, what is that? Oh, Seven Central time? time? Yeah, he That's said Central. nine. That'd be nine our time then, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think so. Hell, I could be winding my day down by then. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm going to let and It's on Wednesdays. That was yesterday, wasn't it? No, that's today, knucklehead. <laughs> oh, it is? See, my whole week's messed up for some reason. So it is tonight. All right, cool. I'm going to set an alarm to go off about five till so I won't miss it. It's nine o'clock our time. I mean, even if I'm going to bed, I can kick it on on the TV in the bedroom and set the TV timer to go off in two hours or something, you know. Look out. Speed demon coming through. Getting ready to hit the speed limit here pretty quick. Watch out. Almost there. Damn, they built a help a billion way out here. Huh? A lot of money in health care, I see. That's where you turn to go to Walnut Creek Golf Course. Well, have a good day, Skip. <laughs> I wish I still played golf, man. I could go check out Walnut Creek. The link's right there. Gig just popped it up. Gig ability. Just put the link in chat. If you don't have right tired Rick, you can go check him out tonight at nine o'clock. Yeah. Don't stay I with know. the tired Rick. I know I got him hook set. I mean, I know that for a fact. But I don't know if I have him hook set with the notification. Well, normally around nine o'clock on Wednesdays, I'm jumping in the shower. I don't think Rick wants me to watch him while I'm in the shower. <laughs> yeah, that's a little weird. Oh, goodness. Oh, man. Well, I wonder if there's any way I could get to see that house in Newcastle early. I might call the guy and see. Cause I know it's vacant because they've remodeled it. So I might call the guy and see if it's possible for me to just come in and at noon or whatever. That way I can just go home, pull my papers, assessor sheets and crap, and then just go ahead and head there. The big hawk sitting on top of that pole, just waiting. Wonder why they got a detour for Taylor University. I wonder if they got the road closed up there. That would suck. I think I know the back way around it, too, though. Taylor University. It's a really, really small university. Out in the middle of nowhere, upland in the end. <clears throat> Been doing it, Mr. Rick. Wild Man Curtis was in chat. But I don't know where he went. Oh, really? We could bring his butt up here and talk if he, if he was a sociable kind of guy. Nah. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it is close, isn't it? He talked but, like they'd fire him and everything, you know. So, I don't know. He might be pretty upset about that still. <laughs> <laughs> He'll get over it. <laughs> I don't take things so personal. Like the mop it when they kill a guy. You know, man, this ain't personal. <laughs> this is a business. 
I know there's a way around this where the road's closed, and that sucks because I'm have to try to remember where it's at. Wait, I want to stay on this road though because it takes me to Matthews where the covered bridge is. Now it's not fun anymore. I actually went underneath this bridge on a dirt bike race along the railroad tracks, which is not any fun riding on them big rocks. And because it's a dirt bike race, we were riding on them really, really fast. And all I could think That's of not is very you know, nice. <laughs> but all I you know, don't get to fish that because you have to take care of your parents. What's that? Are you talk about uh, my fishing? Retire Rick asking uh, when's the next time you're going to fish. Uh, I went two nights ago. You don't fish. Yeah, I went two nights ago. And then I go once a month down to fish for J-Dog now since I got the respite thing going on for me. We're going to take the Taylor University detour. And it should get me around this right here to enough to get back on the highway. I don't fish either. I will admit it. You know what? Not all of us got rich boyfriends with nice new boats to take us fishing all the time. Ooh, yeah, that's that's a good point. I'm just saying. Oh, she's talking about Eric. <laughs> okay, I take it back then, Joey. I take it back. I'm not so sure I can't go right up there and get past that dead end. Come to, th come to think of it. Mm. If I know the detour was up here on this county road, hell, I could have turned off back over there on the highway and come this way. You know, I think I can. I'm going to go well, that can, way. All I can say is I got, I got a medal that says I'm a better fisherman than Jody. Oh, that's got a medal. He's got that's a right. medal. That's got to be a certified official thing. I ain't got nothing. Everybody got bigger fish than me. You know, my PB channel cat's 10.8 pounds. That's the biggest one I got. Well, I got a blue that was, what, 12 or 14, something like that last week. And a flathead that was in about the same area, which the flathead was fun to catch. Man, I'd like to catch some more of those. Well, it's only a matter of time, buddy. Go get yep. your 70 pound flatty. Yep, them flatheads are serious. I know that. They do not want you reeling them in. You know, they do have a, uh, uh, what do you call it? Chick fil A in, in the common area place up here in the university. I do know that. I've been in it before. Mm -hmm. Yep, road's still closed yeah. there. People looking at me like, what are you doing driving down our road? It's not part of the detour. And I'm like, F you, I'll drive down any road I want. Matt, go watch the lady, Ladies' Choice Tournament. Jody lost to the brothers. What was the Ladies' Choice? I, I don't remember that. They got to choose who they fished against or something? Good yeah. morning, Miss Joan. How are you today? Dun, 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 isn't this the main road? I don't, I don't know. know if they're going to be. I don't know if they're going to be doing that again this year or not. Ladies' choice. Oh yeah, I don't remember. 
It's like Taylor's kind of Taylor's kind of expanding here, it looks like. I had fun doing it. I, I'd do it again. I think this is a religious uh, college, if I don't if I remember correctly. I'm thinking about waiting until I can see a week that's got good weather, and I'm thinking about just taking a week off just to go fishing all week. Heck yeah. I can see that. Oh, I wish I, I could 16. get someone to hang out with. I got like 63 hours. I wish I could get... Oh, really? Now, see, I use all that time up. My cable company I worked at, they used to let you carry them over and bank them and i had like oh i don't know probably 31 or 32 days and saved up of sick days and after the old man that started the company died and his kids took over all of a sudden they said you could only get seven days a year and you lost them at the end of the year and oh, the hr lady was doing the meeting right and I said, so if I understand you correctly, you're encouraging me to take seven days a year off at y'all's expense. And she was like, no, that's not the thing. Oh, also, they did. If you had the bank, you got to over and still you don't bank them no more. Because we had one yeah, guy that worked there and been there. I think you can only get like 300 hours of PTO oh, time. We had one guy work. Start making you cash it out. Yeah. Cause we had one guy work there, been there probably 12 years and never missed a day of work. So I don't know how many days he had when it come time to, to, to roll them over or whatever. You know what I mean? But he had a bunch. Now I should be able to get back to the highway right here. Yeah. That guy just, just Otherwise we wouldn't be. Morning. He, he has to cash out every once in a while because he, oh, yeah? he, don't, take vacation, he don't take vacations. Oh, really? Yeah. Like but he's, he's, been taking, he's been taking two weeks a year now. So cause he's like, I might as well just take it. If you got it, dude, take it. Said if you want, yep. They didn't ask you. They didn't ask Said if there's a way you can give me some of them to go hours, I'll take them. <laughs> Hell yeah. They don't know that. But the human resource land real slow. You're basically telling that minute seven days here. My blue. Bluegill fishing places right up here. What if I got some munch on in here? Got some kick mix, that'll work. Oh man, that sucks. You know, you think the company would hire a tent to fill in when he's not there. Because there's tent companies everywhere. Oh, oh, I think you made Jody mad. I got to back up now and see. I don't see what you did. Yeah, I think I Yep, that mailbox right there is where the I turned to go into the guy's landing on the bluegill place.
All right, Jody, that's what I want to see. I want to see you back out there on that fine dune like you was fishing for two days solid. That's the Jody I know. Uh oh. Don't come out yet. I'm going straight. Thank you. Well, just remember, if they don't get someone to help you, you're doing the work of two people for the pay of one person. That's all I'm going to say. And that's not fair to you in any way, shape, or form. And Rustic must have bought him some extra electro shock therapy thing or whatever it is they do. Uh, we're not going to make it, Captain. Get flying everywhere. I was busy reading chat. Didn't realize my rope was coming up. Hey, Jeff, how are you, buddy? Good to see you this morning. Didn't they do your feature on you last night? I'm pretty sure it was you, but I slept since then, so it's hard to tell them. Kelly does a good job on those, man. He definitely found a niche. Kind of like Dog with the news report on Jody's show. All of them are pretty good. There we go. Covered bridge time. I don't know if I lose signal or what. Yeah, it was pretty sweet, brother. I agree. Well, that Mountain Dew sure don't taste good. Something wrong with it. I should have tasted it before I bought it. I know better than that. There now, it won't be shaking as much. This dirt bike racing area is right out here where the Upland Enduro starts. Goes back over there to the southeast is where it starts out through that woods. Before you get back up here, you've ridden 60 miles or so of trails with a few cornfields to connect the woods sections in. Oh, really cool, man. Yeah, 100%, Mike. I'm telling you, don't do the work for two people and the pay for one. Sometimes things like that happen to make you make a move to better yourself anyway. And I tell everybody, I know education, man. The more education or skilled trade you can get, the bigger F you clause you have because you can get a job anywhere. But don't let companies take advantage of you, man, because they will. They may act all nice and everything, but deep down, they're 
business people and that would be nice to you because you're doing something they need. Oh, yeah, for sure, 100%. Nobody, that would be crazy. Mm. But like I said, I started out as a house installer getting trained on how to install houses and cable and then found out that you could go to school. They paid for it to become a mainline technician guy. And then the money got pretty good. And I had a the FU clause that I could take uh, and go anywhere and get a job as a cable technician. Starting out making pretty decent money, even at a new job. So Matthews Covered Bridge, boy, the river's still up. We crossed the river right down there, but you wouldn't cross it today. I know that. It'd be about gas tank high and moving real fast. And that's the end of our tour, folks. I hope you enjoyed the Matthews Covered Bridge. <laughs>
think of coffee. Chill coffee. Chill coffee. Chill coffee. Yeah, yeah. Used to be a big biker party there every year. Sure, there probably did we go this way yeah. one time? I think we did go this way the last time. I'm not sure. We'll go this way this time. Oh, shoot, they turned it into a gravel road. Not really gravel. What it is, instead of paving, they put this oil down and then spread the gravel on top of the blacktop. Then you don't get all the dust and stuff, but you don't have to keep up the blacktop. Yeah. I guess it's more like tar than oil, isn't it? Yeah. I know what you're talking about. That's what they put in the alleys in Columbus. What's up, Zach? Hey, you doing, Zach? Zach? Playing video games? <laughs> hey, what's up, Zach? How are you, buddy? Heck up. I didn't know if you won your place. Got out and saved your walk. Yep, I thought maybe one of your snakes got out in nature or something. Poor <laughs> retired Rick. Hey, did you get that car going? Did you get the car running and everything good? Watching the rain. I got a feeling I'm getting ready to do that this afternoon. <clears throat> That's what I'm doing here right now. It's starting to mist pretty good right now. That means the rain's coming. Yeah, the further southeast I go, the darker the clouds look down that way. <laughs> Well, we got a heavy mist and a fog at the same time. Got a Oh, he said the car's running. Oh, cool, bro. Glad to hear it. There's a nice little pond right there that I guarantee has got bluegill in it. But it also has a big sign that says no trespassing. Yeah. So I suppose the chance of going fishing there is pretty slim. Let you go up here and ask this guy in this house if you can fish in his pond. But we actually came out of the woods <laughs> right up here one like year. Fishing weather rustic. Yeah. Went down the road to the east and dropped back yeah, in that really... there to the river. Yeah, gigability, it'd be all right, but if you breathe all the ink, you might get pneumonia, and I ain't taking that chance. Eight o'clock. It'd be nine o'clock God's time. Oh, squirrel, back have it, don't run across the street like that. <laughs> There's the mid south. Two one seven. Two one seven. Squirrel. Back up. We'll drop these two Whirly bird. Off. <laughs> mm -hmm. Country cruising today, man. We're out here in God's country. country cruising. Where the telephone pole is, country. the line's down about four feet off the ground right now. Huh. Come by on a windy day on the motorcycle and let that grab you and then sue the phone company. There's a lady Walmart driver. They got no truck on this porch right here every 10, 20 feet. You cannot go in there and hunt and oh, fish, the lady sign says. She will shoot you upon sight. All violators hey. killed upon sight and buried in the woods. 
J Dog said he's back in the house. What he miss? Uh, you ain't missed nothing, dog. You missed the covered bridge, though. Come to think of it, we went through the covered bridge, which was pretty cool. And now we're just country cruising on the way home. Country cruising. There's your car hauler. Y'all need a new vehicle. Oh, a couple nice sports cars on there. Well, there's a creek right there. I bet there's some chubs in there. I bet your money there's chubs in that creek right there. Probably. But Good morning, no downtown Ernie Brown. I cannot get none of them chubs right there. Am I still cutting out, Buggy? Nope, you're good now. Okay, yeah, I'm out of town now. There we go. Back on the highway, heading on today on the highway from nowhere. Uh, how was your goodness. how was your oil level? Was your oil level good? Yep. Cool. I actually run out of gas right at the end of this woods right here one year on the, on the enduro. And that pushed my bike over here on the road and wait for the, for the guy with me to run back to the truck and the pits, which is at the covered bridge back there, and get some gas. Huh. Well, I got a full tank, so I should be good to get home. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I was talking about it was on a dirt bike during the dirt bike race. Oh. J-Dog, J-Dog. I overestimated the amount of miles I could get on a tank full. Because yeah. I had an opportunity to gas up about a half hour before that. And didn't bother because I oh, usually dude. didn't have any problem making it. But I think we was riding a little harder that day and I might have burned a little more gas than usual. We're stuck in this thing town and I'm out of here. Hey, good morning. I'm out of Chillicati. Ain't nothing good there. Ain't that it? There's that I'm sun coming up. The, 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 the heroin's gotten even better here from what I hear. Hello, D. Look, man, they said my evaluation went great. I, I exceeded a lot of their expectations on my movement and stuff. That's cool. That's Did very you cool. You've been out with skipjack fishing? <laughs> yeah, she knows. <laughs> I told her I was going Friday. She goes, what are you doing Friday after you leave here? Uh, why do you want to know? <laughs> so I'm going fishing. See, that, then you tell them, hey, that's good therapy. You should tell all your people they you should do more fishing. It's a good well, therapy. Yep. It's done me good. Mm. Yeah, I told her it's done me real good. I see he's driving down the street with his turn signal. Hmm? That's me. <laughs> Especially on a motorcycle, man. I'm real bad about it on a motorcycle. What if you can't hear the thing? Bump? It don't make that noise on the motorcycle. That's what I said. You can't hear it on the motorcycle. They don't have the automatic. Well, my bike does anyway. My Guzzi, because it's like a 1984. Which I almost tried to start. He's too busy to playing on the phone. Come on, man. You're killing me. There's a pond you can get to. Do you miss me? 
Oh, we'll work, Mr. Not GD. As much as I, do <laughs> I wonder if D and Chad and them caught fish yesterday afternoon. Yeah, I wonder too. I don't know. I didn't see nothing. No pictures on Facebook. You know, no pictures, no proof. <laughs> And so, if, if you're telling old wise fish stories, I don't think I have D on Facebook. She said, You know, I do, Jake. Yeah, y'all might as well go take them mowers and put them up. Y'all ain't mowing no yards today. It's raining. Oh, I've seen people out cutting grass in the rain. They don't care. Yeah, I have too. I'm like, <laughs> the other night I was in the house and I was in the office actually, and my neighbor on the south side of me, right next door, uh, I got to hearing something, so I let my dog out, and I looked over there, and he was mowing his yard, and it was like at 9 o'clock at night. It was done dark. He had the headlights running. He was just mowing. I'm like, well, what the heck? We might see some albino <laughs> elk up here. For me that drive super slow. World that they're playing. No, I knew you was going to do it, goddammit. I knew you was. Get up in the tree. <laughs> I knew they, they were playing in the street and they went back to the other side, and I knew. Sure enough, they did. What, squirrels? Yep. If I hadn't slowed down, I'd have hit both of them, no doubt in my mind. Well, that would have been dinner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I suppose I never had it before. There must be something going on up here. It's white, Barry. A line of cars. Squirrel. I suppose you take a few of them to make a meal, though. The squirrel dumplings is pretty daggum good. Huh? Food thingy. Food giveaway thingy. That's why all the people are there. <laughs> hey, morning, Randall. Now this car is going to speed up, and I was going to go around it. Do you love it when they do that? Oh, yeah. Don't go around it. All of a sudden, they, they speed up. Well, at least you're moving on. No. He just got the truck in the way. I was oh, coming up on the albino elk. We'll see if they're out today. Albino elk. Hey, Uncle Lou, I was talking to some guy the other day in chat named Uncle Lou. Yeah, he's up there eating. Let's see if you can see him or not. Nope, they're back here. But his name's Uncle Lou with some numbers on it. And I wasn't paying attention. Hell, I thought it was you. <laughs> mm. I mean, how many Uncle Lou's are there? You know. Yeah, that's true. And then it dawned on me that with, it had numbers, you know, next to the name. And I'm like, eh, this may not be the same person. I know there's it's an Uncle Lou bar somewhere. <laughs> Boy, they got the cold cars lined up. I hope they ain't got the roadblock down there. Oh, I hate when that out and the train rolls in and stops. Yeah. Oh, that's yep. lovely. Going to both poor boys' tires today. I don't poor like boy. to do it. It's like only a couple here. miles long. Nine ten. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> slapping, got a picture of Moji slapping. Uh, got his hands over his eyes like, oh my. Ernie said, hey, good morning, Uncle Lou. Let's hope you feel better. Good morning, downtown better. Ernest Brown. Hot dog gravy. Did you say hot dogs and gravy? I said hot dog gravy. I've had that before. Yeah, I've had that before. No, that. I'm actually going to be in the town where Wiener World's at today. I may have to stop and get a hot dog now that you mentioned the hot dogs. <laughs> Just stay away from the roller dogs, Buggy. Yeah. Buggy likes the roller dogs from Speedway or gas station. He likes gas station food. I lived up in Wisconsin and I first got divorced. The quick trips there had you could get two hot dogs and a Coke for it was less than two dollars, I think. Yeah. And we lived on them. I think I'm coming up on my turn. I really can't see. It's kind of hazy. Yeah, that's my turn coming up. Get over. Start slowing down. Uncle Lou said, Good morning, Ernie B. Ernie, how's Miss Chrissy doing this morning? Hope she's doing all right. Hope your knees feeling better. Oh, here we go. Uh, don't worry, truck. I ain't gonna pull out there in front of you. You're running faster than I am. <laughs> yep, I think I'll text this guy and see if I can just come on over and do the inspection. Uncle Lou said, now, what do you say? Now you just got to look at those hot dogs for two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one hot dog. Rough, but we okay. How are you? I'm doing good, <laughs> Ernie. Uh, I just got out of my uh, the evaluation today, and they said that I've exceeded or almost matched my right arm. So now they got to start working on getting my arm to go behind my back, and they said that's where the pain's going to come in. Yeah, buddy. So I got today and tomorrow to try to stretch as much as I can to get my arm to go behind me so it won't be as painful because they stopped doing that TENS machine and uh because I've noticed that after them stretching all my arms and getting them sore and riled up that TENS machine sure does feel good yep. <laughs> afterwards I mean it just relaxes them muscles Cause I can get on, they give me 30 minutes of that therapy and off for the rest of the day. I feel like I've never had surgery on the arm. Why did they stop doing it? <laughs> well, Uncle Lou said gas jumped 30 cents. Why'd they stop the doing it? Just not feeling it yet. I know gas went up here too a little bit. Five dollars a gallon, and I couldn't live out there, man. What? Whoa, 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 what a miss! What a miss! What a miss! Somebody's talking about gas out in California is over five dollars a gallon. <laughs> Gigability said, "Get up there, Randall. I'm about tired of seeing farmland. <laughs> <laughs> That's about all you're going to see around here for miles is straight up farm ground." God's country, baby. Do what? God's country, USA. Yep. About another 30, 40 years, you ain't going to see a tree nowhere for miles unless it's in somebody's yard. Yep. As you can already see for miles in one direction, not see a tree. Oh, man, I took his little... 
Earth Chris, oh, let's see somewhere. here. Oh, Randall said I'm at work already. <laughs> Three, six, seven. Only seven Mountain Dew Curtis, if you're listening. Correct their zero fifties. I don't know. Somebody cut out or I did one. Play that market in such a manner. Today's Wednesday. Isn't it? Oh, yep. What the farm? Wednesday, right. all day it's Wednesday. Tomorrow is trash day. Oh, that's yeah. Friday. Whole day. Friday's trash day. What are you talking about? Don't say shit about a different trash day. You'll fucking confuse me. I know when it is, and don't be trying to confuse me because I forgot it one time, and I'm telling you, I'll never do it again. <laughs> Don't ask me your uncle Lou. Dang it, our day's picked up. Is that <laughs> like uh is that like rustic going to therapy a day early? <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. Don't ask me or Uncle Lou. We get our days mixed up. Oh, I <laughs> went to the VA hospital where we were just out a week early. Oh man. <laughs> Good lord. And I tried to talk them into giving me the shot a week early since I was already there. <laughs> they said they can't do that. I'm like, oh, man, come on. You're killing me, Smalls. I'm already here. Let me get this crap done and over with. Yeah. So I didn't cry today on the way home. Don't feel bad. I've done it, too. I went to yeah. the doctors. He went upstairs to check in, and they're like, uh, you're not until next week. <laughs> yep. All right. Randall said, uh, I have on my calendar before I leave. I'm playing old age. I'm going to play the old age card for that. Uh -huh. mm, my knees are sore. Hey, that was Captain Fisher from Fresno. He done about me. What up, Fred? What up, Fred? CVA. Always be CBA to me. I black out. Don't bug me, dude. Man, Rustic, that looks like a flat road. I don't know it what is. them look like. <laughs> we don't have them here. They're all curvy and hilly. It is for 19 miles, I think 18, 19 miles straight. This is the longest road in Missouri, I think. It's only like 18, 19 miles long, but it seems like it's 50 miles long when you drive it. It takes forever to get from one end to the other. And we don't get flat roads until you get farther towards Indiana. And it gets yeah. flatter. The more east you go, the more hillier it gets. Yeah. And, I'm uh, in southeast Ohio. Right you start going, Central. you start going west for me. Not too far outside of Malta, you start climbing up hill, go up hill, it gets hilly towards Branson up that way. You get over to the other side of the river, it starts getting hilly when you're going up towards Kentucky. Then you have to go to the other side of uh, towards Cape Girada, start going up in hills over there. Then when you go south from here, it's straight flat ground. Right, job you're doing. I gotta pick up the tires. You deliver. Yeah, and they're a lot messier and dirtier when you pick them up. <laughs> the old man ain't. Oh, that's the Going to try to get some stuff done and head out fishing. Awesome, Fresno. Off. What do y'all think, Saturday? East side of Columbia. Come on, don't you feel my porch? Nope. Anyway, <laughs> Don't you know, you did you good girl, huh? You got good body. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. It's starting out at I think 1850. You guys gonna go use the bathroom or what? I got stuff to do. We're short driver right now. I'm gonna be a driver. Yes, so said, I thought well, it was he, flat he here. Is he going to retire finally? No, he wants to work more around the farm. 
I don't blame him. Yeah, well, where we live yeah. at, if I go west toward Branson, as soon as you I see cross all Riddle the time, Hill man. outside of Baldwin, it, you're constantly going up here. My yard, my neighbor's yard. Five years. Five years. Are you five years I've been doing so this. this game, huh? Oh, I gotta go potty, little guy, huh? Uncle Potty, he's a good boy. You're the best puppy on this porch at this time. That would be you. <laughs> Sorry, 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 Sorry. There we go. Come on. That was a wasted trip. Come on, little guy. You gonna go in? Come on, let's go. Or you wanna go potty? What do you wanna do, huh? You gonna go potty, huh? Go on. I'll wait. Go on, go potty. I'll wait. I'll go with you. Come on. Let's go down this way. Come on, man. I'll come with you. Let's go. <laughs> come on, dude. Come on. I'll show you how it's done. Tell me he didn't want to wait for me. Come down off them steps with him. Come here, man. You got your thing caught. Your leash is between your legs, little man. There you go. Now go potty. Go on. Nope. Guess not. <laughs> You see butter anywhere? Let's go see. Come on. Let's show him how it's done, bug man. Oh, shoot. That thing just started hurting because I was sitting. What do you think, little man? You done? All right. Let's go in. I got stuff to get done. I got to text that guy and see if I can go see that house early. Come on before <laughs> Dad wakes up the air coming in. Come on, little guy. Let's go. Yes, I got some treats for you guys. It's your lucky day. Your lucky day. Come on, I'll get them before you bark out and wake everybody up. Oh. You good puppies. We got one for you, and we got one for you. There you go, guys. What's yeah, green Randall, stuff that, on the that green stuff. Doesn't That's a like freshly dirt. mowed yard, baby. That was freshly mowed yesterday. Looking pretty good. Building the burn pile out there for fall time bonfire. Oh, Randall, if you talk about green stuff where I'm at, that's weeds but right here. <clears throat> weeds and wild grass. <clears throat> so, man, they've already got corn up here in places that's four inches tall. Are you shitting me? No kidding. Yeah. They, they must be making that stuff last week. And it's already or something. come out of the ground. It's almost four inches tall. No kidding, that's got to be some GMO crap, man. Yeah, beans. Uh, we get a good day of sunshine Friday, them beans will be popping out of the ground. Right now, these farmers are loving it. I mean, they got a lot of ground they need to plant, but what's in the ground is getting a good, slow soak. It's not no hard downpour on it. And they liking that, but they wished it would hold off so they get everything in the ground. The toilet handle won't. It's good now. Giga Billy, did you get out fishing yesterday? I know you said he was going to go try to catch another 100, 200 pounds or something. Man, I gotta turn that on. See, get this winter frog hauled out of 
Well, I wish I could just switch this to my phone. It sure be easier or to my computer. It sure would be easier. Yeah. But not me. Yeah, I just pushed it and it worked. I just pushed the handle down. It worked fine. And yeah, it's hard down. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I know you had it 190 pounds. Sure did, rustic. A little over 200 pounds. Awesome. <laughs> I can go skipjack fishing and fill that one cooler to the top. It's about about 200 pounds. I'm just glad I ain't got to go to Portsmouth. I'm I'm pretty sure it's probably still underwater. <laughs> <laughs> Should have went today. Thought it was going to be a little easier than it is. Yeah, talk to the recycled tires. The guys that pick up the old tires. Get that. Hey, do y'all ever pick up old tires when you at them places? No, we do not pick up old tires. Oh, okay. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> that dude, he's black. He's a white dude, but he's black, <laughs> picking up them old tires. Who's the oh. poor boys in Jackson? Jackson. <laughs> Don't bring me down. What's the date today? Is it today the 11th? Mm, yeah, the 10th, I think. I think it's the 10th. I'm not exactly sure. I, I know, know it's 12. Wednesday. 12, I got to go down to Arkansas and babysit my granddaughter, my youngest one, while my daughter goes on that field trip with my grandson for the school. Randall says, got the clock in. Be right by. Ooh, I better slow down. Well, There's that 45 mile hour. There we go. There we go. I thought, I thought it was 10. That's the old paper mail. Stink of coffee. Yeah, they stink so bad. Man, I know I went to Wycliffe at one time, and it was, smell was so strong that by the time I got out of there, I had a headache. And I was like, ah, there ain't no way in the world I could live over there. I don't see how people work there. <laughs> to be honest, yeah, ain't I'm no way, no way I could work there. I have no. to go smell that stuff five days a week. And then you smell like it when you go home? No, I'm good. I'll pay. Yeah. Couldn't pay me enough. Look at here. Somebody get buried. There's a lot of... Hey, buddy. Got a tail light out on that trailer. Hit Louisiana and Mississippi right now. Yeah, they get some strong storms down that way. Oh, it's, I think it's a... That don't fall out. <laughs> I know. I was watching the news up there. They said some hit around Cape, Illinois, and Indiana yesterday. F1, F2s. Don't fall out. Don't fall out. Don't fall out. Stay, Stay on that head. trailer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see if he's trailer. Let me see that house really. Are going up here to the graveyard? Ouch. Yep, yesterday was laundry Tuesday. Today is home. Nerd. 
Facebook days. Today's Whopper Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, don't forget, tomorrow morning is coffee time with Rustic now. I'll get home yep. and I'll get that loaded up. What time is that? I'll probably start at 5 o'clock in the morning my time. I've got my so seatbelt on. Shut up. It's our time. That's cool. I'll schedule it for five, but if I'm up early enough, I'll probably start at four. <laughs> okay, that'd be five bar time. Yep. But I usually wake up around between two Hold and on, like four o'clock. Y'all hold on now. Windshield's fixing to get splattered big time. Oh, there it goes. Well, that mist done turned into a rain. I'll be praying for all the people, yes. Y'all come in and didn't know it. Uh, Skywalker came in this morning and said that Hog Leg and Melissa's dog finally passed away. Yeah. Poor thing's out of its misery now. Yep, it's not tough for anymore. Yeah, it, it's hard to have something that that long and then it passed away on you. I mean, you, I mean it's just hard. It was all Oh no. What? Oh, it happened. I know when my dog passed away, I'm not getting another one. I can't deal with that anymore. Okay. I thought she was staying with a hog. I heard Eric's AI girlfriend. <laughs> I like my dog majority, better than humans. <laughs> majority of the human. Hey, I need them parts off there for my car. It's it's white and everything. Hey, Pop, I got nutty bars, pop tower. Oh, nutty bars. Bought another box yesterday, so it wasn't run out. I got a little bit of a third early. It was 425. It was about that. I've been taking still chocolate. Yeah. Yeah, you can it, yeah, most of the time they do. Somebody didn't get me at full 25. Look at that top every day. Yeah. And not only last night, they they're just to keep the school clock. Well, Timu is going to owe me about 15 bucks. Okay. Because the packages are going to arrive late. I have trouble seeing that. Coffee thing to see if it's on. Don't yeah. think get me something for free. Margie had help yesterday. Well, she didn't take that car to work. I'm about to get her butt. I told her to start driving that car. <laughs> I think the lady, I thought I'd be up and get the horse running. I think you can't affect the pocket. It kept going and going and going. You heard my car. <laughs> hey, look at there. We made it home safe and sound. About time. All right. Yeah, 
gather up my stuff here. Okay, I don't need my cap. I don't need my sunglasses. I do need this and this. <laughs> oh, crap. I need to roll my back windows in. Ow. Put it on. It's going to float back there. <laughs> Oh. oh, good Lord. It is heavy sprinkling. Hell, my trash can doing that. Oh, I bet she pulled it around there to throw the trash out of the car. Well, there's Abilene. Hello, Abby. Let me go in here. Oh, hold on, I didn't hear what you said. There's that. Let's see here. There we go. If you ever want to lose more between your dog and your spouse, lock them both in the trunk for an hour. Come back, Sue's happy to see you. <laughs> Imagine your dog will be. <laughs> your spouse is going to want to kill you. Get in here where I can get this headset switched over to to the speaker phone. No, you can't get on because you're getting here all over your dummy. Get out of the way, trucker. It's coming through. Yeah, I'll get to West Virginia. <laughs> uh, oh, hold on, I see somebody. No, nope. I don't see nobody. There's nobody typing chat. Yeah, somebody. No, that was know. that was me, Buggy. I switched from a four four G to Wi Fi. Oh, Sorry okay, yep. Yeah. I got to do some <laughs> stuff on my calendar real quick. Yeah, I got to. I don't know, you're cutting, you're cutting out. Me? Oh, yeah, probably. Doing Slow down, get paid by the hour. Get paid by the hour. Oh, yeah. I thought I seen Mr. Jeff Beal come in here earlier. Mute you for you and I'll unmute you when I get done. All right.
All right. There we go. There we go. All right, guys. Sorry. We didn't answer the phone neither. It's like, come on, man, dude. You want this yeah. house appraised? You should probably answer your phone. You, yeah, might I was be just myself. you never know. <laughs> Shoot, man. My thing's going. <laughs> I was just sitting here entertaining myself. <laughs> <laughs> my charger must not be working good in the truck. I put a new one in there, supposed to be a high speed one, but evidently it's got issues. So, yeah, that's a put my old ain't charger nobody, back in. Ain't nobody typing in chat anymore. Yep, we may have to shut it down here directly, then, mightn't we? Yeah, we might just have to shut her down here then. Let me look. Heck, it's going on seen, 10 more time. I seen when uh, D came in, but I didn't see Chad come in. He must still be in bed. Chad's probably either, driving. He, either that or Michelle fixed breakfast. <laughs> he was eating. That lady can cook. Good point, Roger. Uh, D, D, uh, he didn't catch any fish. Uh, he just forgot to change his name on his streamyard thing here. <laughs> yeah, on his, on his I don't know how to change that, so I'll figure it out one of these days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, before you come in, it, it'll come down to your name. You can change that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Fresno says, I'm pushing the gas on the controller, but Eric's truck won't go no faster. <laughs> <laughs> It says 100 miles an hour, but I doubt it he can get that fast. Uh, let's see. Probably fog out if we got to 100. Fred knows where we're going. I think I can run over that dude. <laughs> it ain't going no faster to catch him. I had to slow down the speed limit. It went from 70 to 60. So. Oh man, D said uh, Michelle fixed biscuits and pepper gravy. It was awesome. I bet it was. Bet it was. <laughs> See, if Curtis was up here on panel, I'd be I'd be having me some orange juice, some bacon and eggs. <laughs> also, y'all are on the TV. <laughs> Get a fur time. Anyway, <laughs> well, they tell Chad, tell Mr. Tom, Michelle, we said hello. Hello, everybody. Sorry, bro. Said so those back there, this truck is GP mon GPS monitor, baseball, speed. What are you looking at? Look at a mountain, do it, you. There's Chad. <laughs> He's looking. I know on that, that Sonata that we sold because the motor's blowed up in it, we sold it. It had two different speedometers on it. It had a digital and a and one that rolls over with the arm. And so I had my phone going for directions, and it had the speed on it. That, I had three different speed limits going. I'm like. <laughs> I'm sure they all say hi back. <laughs> Oh, look at Chad, so full. Ah, Chad, rub it in. I ain't even had breakfast yet. Man, I ain't had pepper gravy in a long time. That's some good stuff. We are, we're all watching oh, the TV. Chad, they hear you. Chad, we can are you today, buddy. I know, uh, Michelle told me one time, said, said, next time I come back close to their house through Virginia up that way, I better stop and say hi. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I said, I would have, but we was in a hurry to get home. Boy, we were tired. <laughs> he said, doing good, Buggy. How are you, pal? Not too bad. Hey, uh, we're getting ready to end this, I reckon. How many people's in there? 19, yeah, because I got stuff I should be getting done. Well, uh, Chad's here, and I didn't get to see Dee's response. I want to know if they caught any fish yesterday afternoon. 
I'm doing good. Doing good, Chad. I went to the VA, got my shot in my belly, which made me go ouch. And then after that, doing pretty good. Yeah, Chad, that's what she told me. She goes, I'll fix lunch. <laughs> oh, I'm missing out on a good meal there. I knew it was. We don't want to talk about yesterday. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, it had a monster pop off yesterday. Wow. Did you really? Oh, man. I know, you know, uh, yesterday, if it was D, it would have been drilled in. <laughs> I don't know. Yesterday, D said they had three of them the day before, and they uh, they got off. I think I'll be checking my hooks. <laughs> Quit using them rubber hooks, Chad. Squirrely Traveler said, have a good day, Bugman, everyone. You too, Squirrely Traveler. All right, world. We'll see you, Squirrely. We'll see you later, man. Appreciate it. Oh, he said no. Yeah, I knew, if I, I, knew if I came here and sit down. Right there. Yeah. Good time. That's what it's all about. Oh, yeah. You're watching the fish swim under the boat. That's why those electronics are no good. They'll drive you crazy because they're swimming right under you, but yet they ain't eating nothing. They would drive <laughs> me nuts. I'd get mad at it and throw it in the water. I know me. <laughs> It's like I'll be up there crop fishing, and I'll come across a big school of them. And I'm sitting there doing everything I can. I said, "Why come these things ain't bite?" <laughs> I see a bunch of fish there. <laughs> Move over there where there's no fish on that fish finder and catch one. I'm like, "What in the world?" Like an old boy asked me, he said, Does both those fish fighters come on that boat? And I know that one on the front <laughs> is from a crappie. You ain't getting that one. Oh, so you didn't sell your boat? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not even going to start looking for a pontoon until for another seven months. And then I'm going to start looking because, uh, I'm really wanting a pontoon, and if I got that boat, I'll never own a pontoon. I got some stickers from Jeff Beale. <laughs> hey, I got a sticker from Jeff Beale. Awesome! Y'all check that out, man. It's reflective. Jeff Beale. Thank you, Jeff. I don't know if you're still in here or not, but thank you. What? We've done that too. I think we should only set up where we don't mark fish today. <laughs> I know many times I'll be seeing fish on that sonar, man. Like, man, I can't get these things bite. And then you'll come across a spot. They won't even show a fish and you start catching them. I'm like, Are these things invisible down there or what? Oh yeah, this is, this is a cool sticker, man. It, it's really reflective. I appreciate it. I got to find a place to put it on the board, though. <laughs> About to run out of places to put them where it ain't covered up my catfish or my name up there. Oh, I see where I can put it at. Uh, let me see if I can get it unhooked here. Man, so many stickers are tough to get off there. Bum, bum, bum. Come on, dude. Call me back, man. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. McDonald's. You get all that guy to see if you can go see that house early. I texted him and called and left a message. I'm waiting to hear back from him. Da, da, da. I'm loving it. No, I'm not loving it. There we go. I don't know where I can put it at, but it rot up there. Yeah. <laughs> 
I think I got one on here for fields to water, but I ain't for sure. I have to look at it real close. I mean, there's LG basses right there. And I'd rather have a get hooked on the pigeon sticker than a fields to water. Yeah, I don't think I got one of those. I know I ain't got one of these. And I'm looking for Chad. I don't think I got a Chad sticker up here. If I do, I'm overlooking it big time. No, I don't see it. Uh, there's Bobcat. Rivercat Tackle, Ted's, Broke Bad, Brown, Ernie. No, I ain't got one. <laughs> got Parker's. Uh, let's see. I like LG bass sticker. That that's funny. That fish has got that catfish in a like a, a clutch or something. <laughs> There's Chris hooks the hammocks. NJ's some old man outdoors. Keith Doc Reed. No, I ain't got nothing. Did you hear that chat? But send me sticker man. <laughs> Who sent you one? Hey, uh, let's see if I can get my arm to go up that high. Roger, I don't, I, you, you can't see that, Roger. <laughs> it's right there. You can't see it. It's right there. <laughs> got the got the bait towel hanging right there beside it. Right there. And Roger's is just like, bam. It's there. You can see it. Sorry, the picture ain't very clear. It's our Wi-Fi sucks, man. But they're supposed to be putting in a new Wi-Fi in underground fiber optics. Really? <laughs> cool. Yeah. Yeah, they got all the streets marked. Right now they're running all the tubing and stuff down the highway there. Then they're gonna branch off and come this way with it. I don't have any of the logo, but I'm also not happy with the new logo, so I haven't ordered them. Oh, okay. I'm sort of greedy with the real estate. <laughs> yeah, it, it covers the real estate, but man, it's a cool sticker. Of course, I'm a big fan of the orange anyway. What's Eric got on his dash? Uh, Kung Fu Panda? What's that blue thing? Uh, you been eating Happy Meals again. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, that's the uh, one I got to pop. It was in the pop. I don't know what it is. And it was a thing. <laughs> well, Roger, she did a good job, buddy. I have no logo or nothing. You want to go out again, little man? Huh? <laughs> Racing dragon or something. You want to go party? Are you gonna move them? <laughs> We're sitting there trying to figure out what they are. Oh, okay, I see it now. <laughs> Let me get my phone, little guy, and we'll both go out here and turn a bit till this dude my, decides to call me back. <laughs> my youngest well, granddaughter, she gets. They get the happy meals for her. The toys come in the packages. She don't want them opened up. She just leave them alone and she plays with them when they're in that package deal. But if you open it up, oh, she throws a fit. She won't have to do with it. Hold on, of course, she's guy. real. She's got autism real bad. Come here, little guy. <laughs> but she's the sweetest little thing. I mean. When she sees me, she's all smiles, and when I leave, she just cries. Isn't it strange it, how prevalent autism is these days? Oh, yeah. It's got to be the vaccines, man. You know what I, I mean? It has to be. I don't know. I think she's going on three years old, so. Well, I, I mean, my daughter had the shot, that, so I don't, I don't know. I have to ask her. I had vaccines when I went to school. Yeah, I did too. 
Yeah, that, yeah, she's had those vaccines, yeah, for like smallpox, chickenpox, and all that other crap, measles. So my daughter's never had chickenpox. She had the shot, but she better hope she don't ever get them because they say it. My son got them after he got, uh, I think he was a senior in school, man, and it, oh, boy, it put him in the hospital. He had them so bad, he had them inside his throat, down his esophagus. Oh, man, up in his nose. I mean, he had them bad. He got little scars on his forehead and stuff where he had them so bad. I had chicken pox when I was a kid, but I didn't have a bad case of them. And one day I went to the doctor. I said, man, I'm itching right here on my side. She looked and jumped back. She said, oh, that's shingles. <laughs> what is that? Form of chicken pox. And that's how my son got chicken pox. Thank you. I'm just closing a little bit. Well, shoot. <clears throat> I suppose I could drive over there and see if I'm lucky enough. There's some construction workers working on the house. I might do that. Might do that. And if not, at least I'm there. I can hang around. <laughs> they got a cool place. Maybe he'll call you when you get there. Yeah, that'd be nice. They got a cool place by a, I guess a juvenile detention center or something by the park, but you can drive around. There's this big hill you can sit up on the top of. Looks out over the valley and the highway and stuff. Almost peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly time. I'm going to have a sandwich like that today now that you mention it. Because that girl sent me some homemade strawberry jam. Which I'm a fan of. Everything's better when it's homemade. Yeah. She made some mango too, but it just does. I don't like it. It doesn't taste good. It's not the only jelly I like is strawberry jam or jelly. That's the only one I like. You don't like grape jelly? Nope. If it ain't strawberry, I'm not a fan. <clears throat> mm, I wonder why you like strawberry Swiss roll so good. <laughs> I don't know if I shared the right link to Uncle, Uncle Lou or J Dog, so. Yeah, now that, you, now that you mentioned it, I do. Most of my things are sweet like that involve strawberry. That's <laughs> pretty interesting. But I sent them the link. Okay, I may have got a text back from him, looks like. Let's see. Yes. There's a little black and white building there. That'd be a good set of paint shop. There's rivers around. Let's see. It got better for the bank company to make a boat payment. What the hell? I done paid that off. Oh crap, that reminds me. I need to pay their propane bill too. Uh, propane? Yeah, we're on propane here. Yep, that was a good idea, but he, uh, it doesn't have a lockbox on it, so he's got to meet me there at three. Oh well. Oh yeah, she, she needs to read that. That's a bummer, man. I'd been. He said I was planning on meeting me at three to do the appraisal. So I was like, "Oh crap!" Hey, now good what am morning, I Mr. Do Mike Sampson. Hey, Sampy, what's up, man? Hello, Roger. What's up, Sampy? Hey, hang out with us. That's what you're gonna do. 
<laughs> no, Roger, being greedy with real estate's a good thing. Cause God only made so much of it, and you ain't going to make no more. So buy all you can get. Yeah, one thing they're not going to make is more ground. That's right. <laughs> Unless you live on an island with a hurt, with a constant volcanoes. <laughs> yeah, maybe my in a hundred years boss, you might have some dirt to grow something. My dad's boss told me that when I was a little kid. It's a shame I didn't listen. Yep. Well, I tell you, if a guy that had. $20,000 in 2008 after the real estate crash over here where I live. He could have bought a bunch. He could have bought probably four houses that just needed fixed up on the inside. Yeah. Oh, I got an email for something. Mm -hmm. Yep. Dude sending me text. YouTube creators, Rustic Outdoors, your April creators monthly. I don't know what that is. Mr. Mike Sam said, Hook told D. I seen D up there at CatCon. She was outside. She was on her phone doing something. I didn't walk over and mess with her because she was on her phone doing something. But I waved at her and said, hi, D. <laughs> then I see Chad. Get he was, free to come over. Get back, little guy. He was scooting to the bathroom. He said, I got to go, got to go, got to go. <laughs> I'm in that status, too. When I got to go, there's no wait. Get out of the way. I ain't got time to talk. Yeah, right. wait, I'm gonna sit on your lap. <laughs> I gotta yeah. go, gotta go, gotta go. <laughs> that breeze is kind of chilly, little guy, ain't it? Let's go back in for a little bit. I might take off and head down there and goof off for the afternoon. Anyhow, we'll see. Go for a uh, drive around. Uh, <laughs> Man, I could, I right could take some exactly bread right and go over and catch some carp. Come on, buddy, buddy. Well, it looks like Chad just died. Died out. Oh, what? You, <laughs> no, I don't think so. We just went out for a second. You don't need one. Nice try. Who in the heck is that? I really need to eat something, though. Oh, goodness. Now what am I going to do? I better get my crap together, though, so I don't forget stuff. Like my camera phone. Right there. Where's my clipboard at? There it is. Oh, okay, it's charged. It's cool. It's charged up. That's a cool thing. Considering I ain't used it for so long. Ain't that right, Max Cat? Yep, I understand, buddy. I know how them dogs are. Okay, let's see. Got the property card attached. Yep. How many people you got in there? Fifteen or so? Probably about timed in this. What do you think? I think so. Sound like a plan, fellas? And got a thing I'm going to do. 
at the end of each show now. Got this little book. A small book called Prayers from a non believer And the gist of the thing is the person starts writing these prayers to God as a non-believer. And it, there it goes on. I don't know how many there are, but they're about 90 or 100, I'd reckon. But I'm going to end the show each day with one of them. And then the next day I'll do the next one and so on. And eventually we'll go all the way through it. And the book is by who? So I probably got to give credit on YouTube or I'll get in some kind of trouble. Hold on, says somebody coming up. Good morning, Mr. Quiet Man. How are you today? I thought the show was. I thought the show was supposed to be ending. It's getting ready to. Aren't you to <laughs> he said, "I come story? up too soon." Just give me a second. It's ending here in about three minutes. <laughs> Yeah, but I want to say, uh, as y'all go out there fishing, tails up, baby. Chad, that's especially for you. Get the tails up. Quit losing them fish. Now I'm going to finish what I was saying before I was rudely interrupted. Where will you go, my dude? My buddy Curtis, who I love with all my heart. I'm going to read one of these a day until we get all the way through it. And it's by some lady, Julia Cameron, it looks like. And like I said, the gist of it is she writes a letter to God every day as a prayer that as a non-believer. And you'll get that as I start to read it. You'll understand that she doesn't believe in God. And it says, dear God, I do not have an easy relationship to you, God. I'm confused by your press. I've read so much about you from so many quarrelsome experts that I do not know who you are, if you are. And yet, I suppose you are something made all this. And so I thought I'd try to make contact with you. I doubt that I'll do this right. I do not know how to do this right. But I think the fact that I am trying should count for something. Where should I begin? I like your world. With its flaws and suffering, it is still beautiful. Perhaps we agree on that. Who knows? Maybe we agree on my gripe about God experts, too. They make me feel like it is so hard to get to know you. Yesterday, I lay down on a patch of grass and pressed my head into the earth as if I could hear your heart. Maybe I did. Today, I wrote you this first prayer. And we'll read the next one tomorrow at the end of the show. Now we're ending this show, guys. God bless everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye, everybody.